avec mes parallèles. Mes salles DJ peinent mes travailler. Je suis un homme qui a dit, je suis un homme qui a dit, je suis un How we doing? How we doing? Come that free lesson. Come that free lesson. We know that tomorrow. So I come that free lesson. Sing it with me, Chet. Don't let them take my hand. Hold up. And dance over my neck. On the air. Okay, okay, that's where it's going. Holy. Become blind in me the strength that need for my body. Body. My body don't get tired. My head don't get tired. My own feet are tired. Oh, we gonna talk. Everybody up in Rumble was cracking. Hold on. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh, oh yes. God, don't let me go down. Don't let me go. Is that Grand Wizard? My boy. Oh man. First stream vibes, don't worry. Don't as far as that. I can see, none of memories when they carry me from reality. No require me, I have been very quietly dying. And I need you to remind me why. Give me the strength to keep fighting, cause I know we trust anybody. Now you make a no be shout. I got it. Yo, 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 yo. We're not going to do the long intro today. I want everybody to get up in here, please. All my people, my loyal chat niggas, we have arrived. I am back to streaming officially. I got a lot of announcements to make to you guys. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. By the way, if you guys don't know, we are multi streaming at this point. We got to let everybody know that we on Rumble. Salute to all my people who always rock with me on YouTube. And by the way, when Twitch is back, we will be on Twitch as well. We're going to get into the whole details of everything. Um, plus, we're going to address a lot of people who were um, a couple of skeptics, a couple of haters. But we're going to set shit straight. Not only that, we have a perfectly normal stream today to do. Okay? You know, a lot of people think, or I don't know what they thought this was. You know, if, if you're someone who was watching this to see something because you've never seen the stream, welcome to DJ Academics' stream. If you ever wonder why people stick around and people enjoy me for hours or enjoy the conversation we have for hours, you're going to find out today. Okay? <laughs> Yo, y'all want me to talk about the fight? Nah, this shit was crazy. My first UFC event ever. People want me to talk about the Trump picture. Did Trump curve me at first? How is it meeting Gideon? This was a historic time for me. Are we are we gonna watch the Trapalor Ross documentary? I didn't watch it yet. We're gonna watch that Trapalor Ross documentary on um uh on King Von. We're gonna watch it on stream today. We're here. I'm kicking it with y'all today, man. 
I want y'all guys to get real comfortable, man. You guys going to lock in with me. We going to be here for at least four or five hours. I'm saying maybe six. So go take a piss. Go order some food. Come kick it with me. Um, the entire thing will be on Rumble. But we're definitely starting off on all the other platforms that we do stream on. Okay. All right. Let me see what's cracking with y'all. Somebody said Ruri got at me. Come on, man. Don't, don't let me start bombing on these niggas already, man. Don't. Somebody said the documentary got deleted. By the way, everything's a work in progress, chat. I'm going to start having the Rumble chat on the screen. Yes, the Rumble chat will be on the screen. By the way, get over to Rumble. You got to make a username. Get your OG username real quick. Feel me? We got to build our own community over there. As opposed to what everybody's thinking, just like when we were on Twitch and anywhere else, we got our own community rocking. That's just what it is. We got our own community. Somebody said Ruri and Mealy Ball. Ruri, what Ruri said about me? Okay. Holy shit, my boy. Okay, Chris, salute my man Chris from Rumble. He's teaching me how to do Rumble live, bro. You could dock your chat like Twitch by clicking on the dock button in the top right of the chat box. Welcome to Rumble Academics. I appreciate you. Okay, all right. I'm going to figure all this out, people. I'm going to figure out all of this. Jeez, this is great. By the way, I want I, I want to I want to say everybody in here uh just spam a big W to Rumble, man. Rumble and by the way, um I want to address a few things and, and and let me just wait for some more people to get in here. Let me tweet this out as well. Because there was so many people that had really extreme responses. Like there was a lot of people who they were like, "Great, Rumble like now you could do more things. You could say whatever you want." But not everybody was as nice. And, you know, I love to address the haters. That's kind of one of the things I do really well. So we're going to start off. Let me just get everybody up in this niche. We laugh. <laughs> yeah, I believe. Okay. Change your username, color, and chat here. Okay, okay. So y'all could do all that. Oh, this is good. This is good. This is good. Chat, this is my very first stream. I'm live today. I'm going to be live tomorrow. You know how we get down with the live stream and we're going to put some hours in. I'm behind on topics like crazy. Somebody sent me 20 topics. It's impossible for us to get through 20 topics. I'm sipping a little bit. I'm having a good old time. Yo, my boy Chris know how I get down. I'm in Miami with him. He already see. Cup in hand. I'm going crazy. It's lit. I'm going to tell you how the whole weekend really went. Very historic weekend. Y'all know. They say academics don't be outside, but I was definitely outside, and it was my first UFC match. Now, somebody said, where's the emoji at? We need an epic stream. I got y'all. By the way, I got a few people on the hit list that we, we got to handle. Rory and Mealy Maul, Rosen Dweeb, Ebro, a few of them we're going to get to, it, and a couple unknown writers who... Just for whatever reason, they usually know not to fuck with the boy, but they wanted to impugn my integrity today. Okay, we'll see. Is he put on a show? Yo, somebody gave me a parlay and I didn't I, I didn't make it. Got a little hit list, man. Of course, y'all can sub, y'all can do everything. Come on now. All right, people. All right, let me get into some real quick shit. Just because... um. Obviously, the news has been broken. Let me see if I can get this up here now. I'm a little like a day school with certain shit. How do I get it? Oh. DJ Academics Rumble. Okay? The news has been broken that Academics will now be streaming on Rumble, and we're going to talk through all of this. By the way, I'm only here to explain myself to my audience you guys have been with me through a over 10 year journey live streaming. We really only started live streaming, not to make money, not to do anything, but have a connection in the community. That's where our community was born. The chat niggas is something that's really special to me because I have a bigger audience, 
But those people, they come and go. You guys have been with me since day one. And I owe you the respect of giving you the explanation of everything I do when it comes to live streaming. All right. Now, I want to start this story. And I know I'm very long winded, but I'm gonna, I want to get through and be very direct on everything and talk about everything I need to talk. Let me put this on Instagram, too. Give me a second. Here we go. And by the way, y'all can ask y'all questions as well. You know what I mean? We're just going to get straight to it. Okay, here's my link. Here we go. Perfect. All right. Um, so let me answer the obvious questions. The first question I know a lot of you guys have is, yo, Ak, why Rumble? Some of you guys have been in my Twitch community for a really long time. Some of you guys have been following me from many different platforms for a really long time. Why Rumble? Okay. First and foremost, I've, I've seen some of the people who are making certain type of, I'm trying to think about how to go at this. I'm trying to not blast niggas instantly. In short, why Rumble, Academics was in a very interesting part of his streaming career and not only did I like Rumble as a platform, I think it's allowed a lot of creators to say what they want to say and do what they want to do in terms of making content. I thought it was a great place to move my audience, right, that could support us. The CEO, I have a direct connection with him. He's going to be supporting our content. And we could build our community here. Not that it's completely cut off from other places, but a place that would support us like how we will support it. You know, I've been I've been a part of many different platforms where, you know, like, shoot, I just got a partner manager the other week on YouTube. Something happens, you get a strike. No one talks to you. No one cares. No, it's like, yo, you're, you're just literally shit beneath their feet. You feel me? When it comes to even Twitch, you know, again, I, I've had a strained relationship with them, but it's gotten better. You know, I, I, I'm not this is not a bash Twitch stream. OK, and when it comes to even Instagram and other platforms like that. So an opportunity came up that said, hey, listen, you could stream exclusively on our platform. And also, you know, within reason, you could stream on other platforms as well. But you should try to build a community over at Rumble. I believe it was a, 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 a great opportunity that obviously was incentivized, as you could probably already tell. But it gave me an opportunity to be at a platform that was going to be fully in support of what we wanted to build, which is community, give us a fair shake, and also a place we could call home. So that's the reason why I thought about the Rumble deal. Um, I ultimately signed uh, after I realized that it would not only be in our best interest, but be in the best interest of everybody that watches me because it wouldn't isolate all the people that watch me, Okay. You know, again, I want all you guys to somehow make a Rumble account this and third. But I also understand that some of you guys won't necessarily come over quickly. Or some of you guys might just still be on Twitch or still stay on um, YouTube. That's not the point of this. It's not to force you, guys, force your hand, not to try to pimp out my audience. I appreciate you guys. And that's, that, that, that's the first and, and utmost thing. Okay. So the next question about why Rumble, and I've seen this like today a lot is a lot of people who have now said, yo, academics is going all right. You know, obviously, when some people think about Rumble, they think about politics. And honestly, I really thought about it as a platform, but I didn't know there were politically charged individuals on the platform. For example, I believe Donald Trump ex exclusively, <laughs> exclusively streams to Rumble, um, S Steven Crowder. But I do know Andrew Tate's there as well, right? Now, I'm going to be very honest, and I want to be very, very super honest and transparent. 
speaking with the CEO. And by the way, this was a me and the CEO, man to man, okay, I'm believing in you, you're believing in me type of thing. He clearly stated to me, hey, listen, people have incorrectly just been labeling us as a political platform. We're much more than that. We want to get into other realms. We want to get into music, gaming, sports. We wanted to get into other things more than politics. It, truth be told, and he might not like me saying it, but he said, Ack, to be honest, rather you stay away from politics. We just want you to do what you do. What do I do? I get on here. I have fun with y'all. We talk shit. We watch videos. We get on Discord. We rant. We rave. We have a good time. This is not. This is nothing about politics, and I'm not here also to defend, um, or I don't think I have to be here to tell y'all what I think the platform stands for. I believe the platform is a platform. They approach me saying they want to move away from politics, move away from being known for just politics, into culture and music, and that is what enticed me. Okay, simply that. They didn't come to me to say, yo, we want you to vote for Trump. Hey, we want you to have this ideology. Hey, could you push this type of narrative? They didn't come to me with nothing like that. Hey, yo, by the way, we had even other conversations. They said, yo, listen, who's the most popping like artist that you think would be great on Rumble? They don't want those people to come on there to, to be in politics or nothing like that. They want people to come on there and do what they do. Just like how you've seen Youngboy on AMP, he's on there doing what he does. He's not on there pushing the AMP agenda. There's no AMP agenda. It's a platform. And that's just simply what it is. So, you know, I've seen a lot of people today, and I'm going to pull up with some of the some of the list of people who were just kind of, you know, going crazy. And, and, and let me put some, pull some of these things up. Let me go to Twitter real quick. The first time I seen this, this guy named Phil Lewis. Not too sure who he is, but I've always seen him. It says he's a senior editor for the Huffington Post. Now, I always see him post things. And to be honest, I've even reposted what he said on my Instagram. But I saw that he um, posted like yesterday. Let me see if I could find it. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Probably got to use the search function here. Academics. Let me see. Is it not there yet? Wow, this guy tweets a lot. Fuck. And by the way, chat, I got to get through this before we get to our regular stream. Yes, we got, we got mad hip-hop shit to talk about. And no, if you came here thinking I got hot takes on politics, I don't. <laughs> All right? You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of people that probably do that. But that's not me. You know what I mean? I, I, I'll still tell you what I fucking think about a particular person or candidate, but, like, I'm not a political pundit. I've never been. Uh, let me see. Wait. Why can't I find... Did this guy delete the tweet? I'm pretty sure I saw it. Let me look it up like this. Phil Lewis. Lewis. Academics. All right. Probably find it right here. Bang! Right here. So he says, new academics has signed an exclusive live streaming agreement <laughs> with right winged video sharing platform Rumble. Now, again, I don't know if that's Rumble's motto from speaking to the CEO and everybody that I've talked to. They don't have a political agenda. They don't give a fuck if someone gets on their platform and says, yo, vote for Daffy Duck or vote for Donald Duck. They don't give a fuck. But I'm not here to defend Rumble, right? Um, but I see certain people in the black community, and I'm going to say hip-hop community, really, started to make this angle like, yo, academics is on some other shit. You feel me? And, you know, the only reason why I dropped the podcast today off the record, the only reason why I did it is simply because I don't want people to misconstrue me making a platform choice. Like, no one said when I was on Twitch in 2013, yo, Ack is on this platform that leans this way. Nobody says it about me being on Twitter 
which if you look at the Twitter files, may have said it, it leaned that way. So I don't know why this is a narrative that came with Rumble, but simply put, and the only thing I can say is that I just made a platform choice. By the way, you know, and I, I don't want to call out any other platform. There was other platforms that was trying to sign me as well. I went with the platform that seemed like they were the best fit for me at this time. You know, um, my, my man Chris was was very accommodating. And also, you know, he made sure I was comfortable in any of my asks or demands. I think it was very reasonable. And because of that, just like any other businessman, I said, okay, cool. I'm going to sign this deal. That's it. Now, what this tweet actually triggered was a lot of other people who have now said that academics is spewing alt-right propaganda. And this was hilarious. This was hilarious. First and foremost, I ain't gonna lie, it didn't help me that I had a, uh, I had a picture. <laughs> this was the, like my last tweet I'm gonna show you. It didn't help me that this was my last tweet. I said, might have to take up Uncle Trump on his offer of being his vice president on 2024. Bro told me, no way you'd be worse than Kamala. Now, I'm going to go I'm gonna go back uh, a little and explain that as well. First and foremost, you know, I'm trying to make sure I'm calm. It saddens me that the people who have never supported my content are the biggest critics of it. Let me just say it again. The people who have never supported my content are the biggest critics of it. You know, when small-minded people and people who have always hated you, and you have to realize at a certain point, it doesn't matter what I've done. Y'all have seen this before. Whether Shade Room or other things, they're always going to contextualize it in the do I like him or not. I've always told you it's better to be liked than to be right. When 2013, when I started streaming, and I went on a gaming streaming website which was twitch at the time and i started doing conversational commentaries type of stuff hip-hop type of stuff now one of these motherfuckers who've been hating and we're gonna get to some of the hating a little bit ever said yo academics is breaking down the doors he's paving the way he's being um an innovator he's showing that this platform could be used for different things not one of these motherfuckers said that. They only came around once they hear about a deal about another platform. So they don't give you credit when you're doing it. They don't give you credit when you're building it. They don't acknowledge you when you're doing anything that's helping the culture. By the way, not one of these, mother these dick-sucking motherfuckers right here. And by the way, there's a lot to go. Let me start with one of the biggest dick-sucking motherfuckers of them all. Rosenberg Radio. If you don't know this guy, this is a guy who, um, this is the guy who's been stuck at Hot 97 for um, 10, 20 years. The dude I asked him for fate after he said that I, that, that I was ducking him in complex. He said he didn't want it. The dude who was married to some chick who got fucked by some black dude at her, at her job. The dude who basically got kicked out of his relationship and basically got kicked out of the crib. This is the nigga who got all the pain on me. I've been telling him, he's obsessed with the wrong BBC. Brother, you're obsessed with the wrong black man. When your wife was getting piped the fuck out, you wasn't mad at them. Why are you obsessed with me? Brother, you're, wrong. you're obsessed with the wrong BBC. Now, I really know why he's mad because, you know, hip-hop and culturally-wise, you know, that boy's like 50. I was a kid listening to him through a, a radio box, and he's been the definition of stagnant. And most of these guys, while they think they're talented or they know hip-hop, they're fucking stupid. The dude claimed he invented hip-hop podcasts, except... He's still doing the same shitty podcast and is ranked the lowest in the whole culture. That's the idiot we're talking about. Let's do the check. You know, and by the way, let me read what he said. Man's doing the truth social of live streaming. Enjoy incels. He's talking about incels. 
Your wife got fucked by some nigga in the mailroom with a BBC. Strike one. Number two, you claim you invented podcasts, but your podcast is the worst performing and the most trash podcast in the game. Number two. Number three, you copped the whole plea to me, and then you basically was in my DM saying, act, I know that I'm 25 years older than you, and I've been in this game 20 years longer than you, and I haven't gone anywhere since I started, and you're so successful. Teach me. All of this is documented. This nigga is still talking about me. Anyway, the move I made to Rumble is not to be understood by this guy. This guy had been up. He's been under uh, Ebro's ball sack for like a good couple of years. You know, he tried to do the wrestling thing. You know what I mean? He's just, he's just trash. So once again, I'm going to just show you. It's nobody who's at the top of the culture in terms of either following or talent. That got nothing to say. It's always the bottom feeders. The ones who are stuck running in place on a treadmill, maybe, hopefully. But anyway, I digress. So, where was I? Well, okay. So, yeah. Essentially, the point I'm trying to make, man. Um, yo, th this Rumble move is, is not more than a platform move. Bro, whatever they got going on with politics, if y'all want political shit, there's political people on here to, for that. Don't come to me for that. I'm going to do the same shit. I'm going to do the same shit. And by the way, shit, I'm pretty sure Rumble must have watched my content. That's what, You know why I'm giving it up like this now? Because they must they, they had to watch my content before offering me a deal because I ain't about to do nothing different. I ain't about to sit here and, you know, and, okay, let's start listen to c -SPAN. I'm not about to do that. I'm about to do the same shit. Same shit I've done on Twitch. YouTube, same shit. <laughs> okay, you guys are asking some good questions. Why not move to kick? Um, I'm going to just be honest with you. Straight up and down. Kick never... On a business level, kick wasn't fucking with Rumble. I'm sorry to tell y'all. I got to just keep it 100. I'm being honest with y'all. Take it how you want. I don't know. Listen, I think Kick's motive and what they got going on. Listen, I don't, you know, I, I'm not, you know, again, I, I'm not here to slander no platforms either, but shit. I'm going to just tell you the truth that Rumble was clearly the best opportunity. I can't tell you for another creator. I can only tell you for me. If you're asking that question. So, I'm going to do business, and it's strictly business, my niggas. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, there's no Biden Democrats. You see, I don't got, like, that, that's not even my opinion. Like, well, not my, I don't really give a fuck about that. I don't give a fuck about that type of shit. But, y'all should ask more questions. Anyway, there's a few more people, and I just want to get to all of them, because let me just type in academics rumble. Let me see. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the bullshit. Hold on. Give me one second. What the fuck? Oh my fucking ad blocker is like acting up. All right, regardless people. Um, we could go down here and just hear how some people are going to, you know, they're going to talk about whatever. Here's the point, man. I just want to challenge all y'all people in culture, man. This is the reason why, like, a lot of y'all just be on the sidelines doing a bunch of nothing. Again, when y'all apply blanket hate like this, y'all make something more popular. That's why some of y'all, y'all keep claiming, how did y'all make me popular? You know how you did it? By fucking hating constantly. Yo, for up-and-coming creator, this ain't no recruitment process or nothing. So I ain't going to tell you to go to kick Rumble anywhere. I'm just telling you right now, this is a very unique time in streaming history. 
If you got a name, you got like some type of shit going on for you, you should leverage your brand some way, somehow. You have an audience. If you just stay on whatever platform, whether it be Twitch, YouTube, or whatever the case is, and they're not appreciating you how you should be appreciate, appreciated, you're an idiot. I've told the same thing to Kai. I've told the same thing to everybody. That's just the reality of the situation. You know, people like Phil, Lew I don't think he gave an opinion, but most of these guys who are journalists, and let me let me actually find a few of these motherfuckers because I ain't gonna lie. I had to put one nigga in his place. Let me see if I can get to this. Some bum ass nigga named All City Perez or Prez, whatever the fuck his name is. And this is why I hate niggas like this because, you know, there's always been a divide in hip hop journalism, right? Niggas all hate me, but mostly I took their jobs. I'm hiring them. Some of these niggas are pencil pushers. Like, the game been evolved past that, nigga. You better have a personality. You better be able to do something. You could... Listen, look at me, nigga. You don't got to be the best looking motherfucker, but you better be able to get on camera and do a motherfucking thing. You better be entertaining. Also, if you could write, that's a great thing, too. Some of these niggas are just straight pencil pushers dweebs. They watch how I came through, crushed the building. This nigga still works at Vibe. This nigga still works at Vibe, my nigga. Like, let me, let me look at his bio. Hip-hop reported Vibe. This is what I don't like about bum ass things like this. And this is what I always say to everybody who's coming up after me. Don't hate. Learn from it. Do you want to be like this guy? The guy who's more mad that he has this journalist job that because he can't stream or get an audience to like, here's the thing before and by the way, I'm not shitting on journalists, but before I work at Vibe for 20 years, nigga, I go into medium and make my own little blog or i'll go i'll go on some shit or make my own website and get my own people to follow me or follow my journey i'm not gonna be writing for a company for 20 fucking years thinking i'm some type of like legend or some shit like get the fuck on out of here it's people like me that made niggas like this look like they're idiots because at the end of the day they got nothing to show for whatever they they claim they did in hip-hop but a bunch of magazine shit that they don't own they don't own none of the content that's what i was trying to tell that bump ebro and rosenberg Y'all work at Hot 97. If I use a piece of your content, it says claimed by Emma's Communication. You use a piece of my content, it's going to say claimed by DJ Academics. Unless I license it, when then they could claim it on my behalf. That's the only thing I was trying to tell the people like this. But they've taken it personal. They've taken it personal, so they now claim that I am anti-hip-hop. I'm anti-black. I did more destructive things than help the culture. I only came up off Chirac. And none of these people have ever either said something positive or even watched my plight as I was getting to where I was at. These guys are the worst people that I've ever seen when it comes to like covering news. So anyway, and, and I want to give these guys um, too much uh, airtime before I just kind of get off this topic. But any other questions, man, because. Sorry, this is what it is. And obviously, I owe you guys an explanation. You know, I think I've done a good job of doing that already. I don't want to keep sitting here. Uh, you guys can listen to my podcast as well. I, I did a podcast today. It's a solo episode. It's called Let's Get Ready to Rumble. And it essentially points out all the mostly business reasons and also creator reasons why Rumble was the good choice for me. I'm not telling you to come do it. I'm not also telling you to do politics or nothing. Like This is a choice for me and my audience. That's it. They're owed an explanation and they got it. We're good? If we are good, we're about to move on. All right, bet. Perfect. Holy shit. We'll spin back. First and foremost, um, I feel like I missed a couple of things. Oh, let me give you the UFC story. Let me tell you how this shit happened. So, the picture with Trump. Let's get to it. This happened, um, so I, I signed with Rumble a few days, it was probably like maybe two days before I went to Miami. The CEO of the company, Rumble, he called me up, he said, yo, Act, listen, we got a dope announce strategy, okay? Yo, we're gonna be front row at the UFC fight. Um, I have another creator who I signed as well, he didn't tell me who it was at the time. Um, but you should come through 
I got four tickets. That dude's coming with his cameraman. It's going to be me and you. By the way, Trump might be there. And also, like, we're probably going to be sitting, like, the best seats in the, in the whole thing. Never been to a UFC fight. But I'm like, whatever. Cool. Let me go check this out. By the way, if you're wondering why a UFC fight, and I'm just trying to make everything make sense to you. Rumble has an exclusive deal with Dana White to stream the UFC on Rumble, right? Uh, not only that, they have an exclusive deal, which Dana White kind of like also owns, I guess, or he's like CEO, CEO of, I believe, of um, the Slap. You ever seen that Slap shit, that Slap Lee? Holy shit. He has an exclusive deal with that too to stream on Rumble. So because of that, obviously, Rumble is pretty much partners with the UFC. So he got pretty good tickets, right? Offered me to come. I said, fuck it, I'll come. I show up there. Um, as he promised, I figure out the other creator he signed was Gideon. So it's my boy Gideon. So his cameraman, Gideon, me, and him were going to go to this fight. By the way, he ended up getting um, tickets for my boy Sneeko and also Fresh from Fresh and Fit. By the way, they are also on Rumble, okay? By the way, um, Sneeko's like banned from YouTube, and I think Fresh and Fit, they might be shadowed. I don't know what it is. Nothing to do with my business, but still, you know, he looked out for the creators who are on his site. That's what it is. Show up there. Everything is cool. Everybody's like, you know, pretty nice. You know what I mean? We're meeting a lot of people. Uh, we got pretty good seats. We're right in between Logan Paul and literally Mike Tyson. And I look over there and it says 45, which 45 I end up realizing is Trump. It's like 15 seats. I'm still thinking Trump not even coming here. And by the way, I'm going to explain this orange shit happening too. So cool. We get there. Everything is cool. Like I've never seen a UFC fight like really up close. And when I'm talking about like up close, like when somebody gets fucking rocked, you hear the fist just ricochet off somebody's like fucking face. Um, we're there, and then all of a sudden, we hear people saying, yo, clear the way, and we start seeing, and you know, Secret Service to me is the guys with the little thing behind their ear, we see like four or five of them, and they're just making a beeline, just straight, walking straight, whatever, whatever, and everybody took their phone up, and if you watch, there's actually a video of it, let me see if I can find it, it's kind of funny, because everybody was like, your act got curved, right? Academics curved. Um, academics curve. Uh, Trump. No. No, it's Trump curve academics. Let's see. Uh, it's probably in shorts. Let me. How do I get the shorts? Fuck. Wait. I don't want to watch it off XQC's clip. It's probably on TikTok or something, right? TikTok academics Trump. It got to be. It got to be. Where is it? Fuck. Did somebody send me the link? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's kind of here. It's kind of here. And then I'm here. I'm here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, and I'm like looking at my phone while Trump walks by type shit. Right? Yo, that shit was embarrassing, but I'm going to be honest. So, I'm going to tell you what happened. Now, nah, this shit was kind of crazy. It was kind of, it was a little bit embarrassing. I haven't got a lot of you. I'm going to tell you what happened. And by the way, if you guys are on um, YouTube, please, like, make sure you get over to Rumble and, and at least register. Sign up for your name, please. You got to sign up for, like, a username. Make sure you guys get the username you want. So, what ended up happening is... Yo, I got my phone, and, and I think, I ain't gonna say it's because I'm black, but, like, I got two chains on, bracelets. Like, I do kind of look like a rapper type shit, you feel me? Anyway, the niggas coming through, I got my phone up like this, but I, I got it, like, in the walkway because I'm trying, nigga, I can't even believe it's Trump. Like, literally, I'm like, yo, really, Trump is coming to this shit? So I'm like this. Secret Service bats my, does he bat my hand out or he just t tells me? He's like, yo, no phones. And I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm pussy. <laughs> Cause I'm thinking about like, yo, if I just said fuck out of here, he's gonna give me one of them like Liam Nielsen fucking chop to the neck and I just paralyzed. So like, I ain't gonna lie to you. When when Secret Service said, no phones, like I put my head down. I ain't gonna lie, I did. I put my head down. 
but I put my hand down and then I looked around and all the white people had their hand up chilling, nigga. They didn't give a fuck. And it was weird because like now I'm like, oh shit, I'm off the camera section. So I'm get, trying to get to the camera. He's walking. And by the time I get to the camera, I look up. He just dapped the last nigga up and he's I'm like, oh, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So that's what happened. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was frazzled. I it wasn't I wasn't nervous because of Trump. I thought them secu se secret service niggas might have had the blicky on them. Bro, they look like they're gonna shoot you. I ain't gonna lie to you. And I'm thinking, I'm also thinking realistic. Jenny all black, but I was on some nigga time in there. Like, nigga, I have the chain. I might as well have some gold grills in. So when they said put like no phones, I put my hand to my side. I'm like, I'm not getting, I'm not getting slapped, choked, hit with a nunchuck at the side of the UFC ring. And then after they passed, I was like, oh, wait, wait, the white people still doing it. I put my phone back up. Anyway, I still got a chance to chop it up with Trump afterwards. I dapped him up. Um, we had a quick conversation. I was just like, yo, listen. <laughs> I said some corny shit. I said, y'all, because my man Chris, he was like, yo, hey, this is one of the biggest hip hop commentators in black actors. And I'm like, obviously, I know who he is, but I was like, yo, I was like, yo, I appreciate it. I said, from the hip hop community, I want to just tell you thanks because you freed our boy ASAP Rocky. You got Kodak and, and Wayne out of jail. Like, And I swear, Trump looks at me and he says, I did that. Like, I kid you not. That, that was his exact words. He said, I did that. <laughs> And I was like, damn, all right, you got it, brother. But anyway, yo, he was a really cool dude. You know what I mean? Um, his son, which I, I didn't even think this was going to be, uh, um, like his son took all the pictures. And his son took pictures of, of me and him. Like even that picture you see, his son took it. And that's I think he airdropped it to like um, the CEO of Rumble and he gave me the picture. But yeah, now nah, it was kind of cool. Like it was kind of cool watching Trump was right there. Mike Tyson's right there. Kid Rock is right there. I'm sitting right next to Logan Paul. Like, it felt surreal. I kid you not. So, you know, in reality, that all happened because, you know, uh, my man from Rumble, he was trying to make a, a big splash in announcing. I wasn't getting announced that day, but he still showed me a lot of love. And I think it was dope. You know what I mean? So that's how the picture got taken. I don't know what people have taken the picture to mean, but you know what I mean? Shit, I like that picture. Fuck it. Now, I'm going to tell you why it's orange. I got to tell y'all why it's orange, gang. It's orange, and I swear, it's not a filter. But in the arena at times, they it shit would change colors. For whatever reason, it changed to orange that time. I promise you. Look at my face. It looks orange, too. So, you know what I mean? Again, <laughs> it, it, his face look orange. I look orange. But everybody was just saying he got a tan. It is what it is, man. So, uh, somebody says... Florida loves Trump. Yo, by the way, I'm going to be honest with you, too. Man, every time Trump stood up, everybody was giving that nigga like a standing ovation. Like, at one point, the fight got bored. Niggas just start shouting USA, bro. Like, they was just fucking with Trump. So, I don't know. I don't know. I personally told you what I thought, but I'm going to just stay away from politics for, for this stream. And while I'm on Rumble, before y'all niggas say I'm all right. I'm just explaining this picture, but we could get the fuck off of it. Joey Meatballs, what type of name is that? He said, yo, people don't, who don't understand that about arena lights are borderline retarded. Yo, UFC is some crazy shit, man. Like, watching how quickly that Izzy fight turned around, because I thought, well, he literally did have Izzy, well, now on the ropes, but, like, on the side of the cage, and Izzy knocked him the fuck out. They say Trump looking like a Simpson character. Holy Somebody said, uh, they, <laughs> yo, alien, Nick, he says, yo, USA, no, nah, no, nah, no, yo, Trump, Trump was like mad cool. I'll, I'll tell you what I was surprised about. Number one, Secret Service was watching like a hawk, definitely. But like, he was mad accessible. Like, he was mad, ex like, I literally could have just like, like at any time during the fight, just like got up and, and just like, just like whispered something to him real quick. You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure, obviously, like, you can't do no weird shit because Secret Service, they're all, it's like, it was like seven of them. And the only way I could tell about, they had like a little, like a little star on their suits or whatever. 
Like, obviously, you couldn't do no stupid shit, but, like, if you wanted to just, like, you know, kind of get up and just say what up to him, like, you could definitely do it, which that kind of freaked, not freaked me out, but I thought, I thought they would have had, like, a circle around that motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Somebody said, I should have asked what, what the secret was? Somebody said, Trump 22. All right, listen, I ain't told no, no more. Oh, I ain't talking about no more goddamn politics. Okay, cool. Yo, chat, I got to give you out an update. We about to get into regular stream shit. Does anybody have any more conversation or questions about what's going on with Rumble? What are we going to be doing? How this stuff going to be working? I'm going to tell you right now, and that's what I'm trying to tell everybody over on YouTube. Go on, on Rumble real quick. Go make y'all username. Go get lit. The reason why is there's going to be a point of this stream that I'm going to cut it off of YouTube and we're only going to be on Rumble, okay? And by the way, that's going to happen from time to time. So if you're wondering, okay, you're on YouTube right now, like how is this exclusive? Parts of the stream is gonna be on Rumble only. You feel me? So again, just go make an account just because. You get what I mean? All right, right now we're still on both. Okay. Are we good with everything? Alienic, I, I wish I could just verbatim read out the contract to y'all. Um, obviously just, you know, obviously to own, not only to protect myself, but also to protect, you know, them and also to buy by the contract. I can't, but you could kind of read between the lines, you know what I mean? Just based on what we kind of doing. You feel me? Benji, thank you for the, uh, uh, welcome. All right. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. This is our very first stream. The rumble chat will be on the screen. I'm going to have a banner from, from now on. I was just so eager to get on here and just kind of chop it up with y'all. We got to get to topics. We, we got a lot to do. You get what I mean? Somebody said, act with a bitch is that. <laughs> now nah, we chilling. Hey, all right, yo, real quick. I got to give you an update on Drake, man. Yo, if y'all don't remember, on last episode, man, I mustered up the courage to hit up Drake, and I asked him for the tickets to the, to the concert. So if you don't know Drake... Concert tour. Drake is going on tour. And these are the dates. Some of these tickets are disgustingly priced. L look at these tickets. I don't even know if they're, they're still available. If you want to be at the floor, $800 each. If you want to be here, look at this ticket right here. A thousand dollars. I gotta make sure y'all can see it. A thousand dollars for a ticket right there where the check mark is at. Um, you know, not saying I can't afford it, but I'm like, damn, I support Drake a lot. My boy gotta hook me up with them tickets. You feel me? Like I wanna be in the little VIP area. I can't be among like, you know what I mean, everybody. I don't know if there's gonna be a mosh pit or whatever. So I hit up my boy Drake. I'm going to read my message to Drake. Here we go. We're going to pull it up. Message to my boy Drake. I said, yo. And by the way, y'all all agreed this. Y'all all agreed to me send this message. I said, yo, I'm going to be in New York that week you here for tour. Who do I got to hit up to get them tickets? I need to be there. That nigga responds to me since. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, Chad. <laughs> that nigga usually responds same day. That nigga ain't responded a week. <laughs> Yo, Drake did me dirty, gang. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody said left him on red. The nigga ain't even read it. <laughs> Yo, it's one of them joints that probably came up on his phone as a notey, and he didn't even have the decency to click it that I could see red. Bro, it still says unread. Nah, this shit is crazy, dog. This shit is crazy, dog. I don't even know how to feel. Like, y'all feel like a thought right now. I'm going to tell you why. I'm I'm on some shit, like, hoping for the best. Like, yeah, yeah, nah. He ain't leave me on red, which means he probably just ain't see it. But God damn. You know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you the craziest part. I counted it. Drake liked three of my posts since I sent him the DMs. Of course he seen that shit, right? 
Yo, the nigga like three of my posts. Like, like, he like three of my posts since. That's crazy. That's crazy. Am I tripping? Yo, Swigger, I need you, fam. Yo, Swigger, you told me this was going to work, bro. You got, you set me up, bro. This thing has set me up. Wait, where's my, where's my channel at? This nigga really set me up, dog. Where we, wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, my God. Somebody said, you must have texted the other phone. Nigga, ain't no other phone, nigga. I, I DM'd him. <laughs> I DM'd him, bro. Nigga, he liked three of my posts. Maybe he not looking at DMs right now. Yo. <laughs> Yo, you know what you making up some excuse for a nigga? Yo, Swigger, man. You told me this shit would work, dog. You muted, bro. Wait, are y'all niggas auto muted in here? Yo, act, you hear me now? You hear me now? Yo, Swigger, you told me this would work, bro. Nah, listen, it's it, yo, we still you we still have hope, bro. We still have hope, bro. Nah, we need you the show. Me. I mean the show like in July, but like, yo, he usually mad prompt right. with the replies. Like, you nah, feel me? Nah, nah, listen. Yo, yo, act, you gotta understand the show is in July. He didn't get to his people yet, so he don't want to he don't want to tell you a lie. Let him let his people get shit together, act. You beasting right now, act. A word? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bro, yo, it's in July. He still he don't even know who he's gonna holler at yet to get the tickets. That's how it be, scrap. He don't even know who he gonna who he gonna speak to for the tickets. Don't worry, you say he like three of your photos, right? Yeah, he like three of them. Like he fuck with me. He clearly fuck with All me. Right, exactly. So so bet so imagine how much DMs. He gets on a regular that might fuck your whole shit up. He ain't going to be able to read that. Okay. Unless you tell him, yo, check his DM. That's the real test. Be like, yo, yo, Drizzy, check your DM, gang. <laughs> write that. Write that. Nah, 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 nah. That's Thursday. That's Thursday. I, like, I can't. <laughs> like, like, yo, he going to check it. He going to check it. Yo, hold on. Yo, yo. He, he yo. ain't see that yet. He ain't see your DM. Yo, yo. Here's the question. At what point do I like my own comment that it could bump to the top? Pause. Oh shit! So that hold on, that ha hold on, that that happens. That, yeah, if you like your own comment, it's gonna go back to the yeah. top of the list of the DMs he got. Cause right now, I, there's probably mad thoughts from Houston who probably in his DMs. He probably DMing like Yachty and everybody how many, else. How many days since you posted that? How many days? Man, somebody in the chat tell me it's been the last time I stream, man. <laughs> it's, it's been man, the last man. time since I stream, man. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Kyrie, don't do it. You kind of gotta eat that game, cause yo, you supposed to be Drake's biggest fan. You supposed to already have the backstage tickets in the first place. Nigga, I'm gonna have it before he give it. Yo, Kyrie, but he this guy, this guy act is forgetting Drake is literally on tour right now. Is he? He just he just did a show. Act, he don't got time to you feel me? Sit down and and, and respond. That's why I asked how how many days has it been since you posted that. Who asked 21? You fucking come on, 21? No, no, all right, but here's nah. the... Hold on, hold on. Nah, 21 got me. 21 definitely got me. He had told me before the tour. He's like, yo, you know we got you. But I want it from Drake. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you, 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 might, you might be asking for too much, guy. Bro, what you mean? <laughs> oh, hold on. So, so 21 said you valid already? Nah, of course. But, like, nah, I need it from Drake. I, I, I want Drizzy to bless it. You feel me? I like, lie, yeah, like, hold on. Right. Because, because, right because, because... Why are you fucking up your parents and stuff for that to ever happen? You, you said what? You could have been cool. You could have been cool. That's there. Bruh, after all, nigga, I ain't gonna lie to you. It's been 10 years, gang. I've been covering it for 10 years. You think, like, bruh, Drake flying all these other, like, journalists and shit to Toronto to do shit. I can't get a ticket to a concert? Now you gotta understand, Drake. Drake, you and you say this all the time, bro. Like it's better to be liked than to be whatever you say. And Drake knows that you're somebody that is hated, so he gotta learn how to play you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Last thing you need is, oh man, Drake is a right. He's going left with academic. Drake don't need that. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? So so you gotta you gotta play play him proud. You gotta play chess with this one, bro. Like true say, I don't know. Drake might be Drake might be trying to avoid you only because you hot right now. You hot all the time. Let me ask y'all a Yo, question. I no, just no, no, the niggas, ticket, niggas bro. think he's he a Trump now, Kyrie. No, hold on. Yeah, damn, I be forgetting. Yo, hey. yeah. Let me ask y'all a question yeah. though. He dropped a new song. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I wasn't. I wasn't jacking it too hard. I said, nah, I, and you was yeah, bugging. I wasn't jacking it too hard either. You was bugging when you said that. Yeah, that song was fire. You was wild. Nah, I ain't like that song, bro. It was I, right, bro. I wasn't jacking nah, that. That song's up. Oh, bro. yo, oh, Wolfman bro. said, yo, you're talking Wolf. about the, the song where he used Kim K voice, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was the hottest part of the song. Just her voice, yo, bro. I'll be real. Yo, a nigga nah, said, the mommy part, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm not the one to hype up Drake shit, but like, that was a vibe. Yo, right, somebody tell me the biggest punchline in that song yo, right now. A nigga told me that, yo, I did a rant on Quentin Miller where I'm like, yo, Meek and Drake need to show him some love. They said Drake wasn't jacking that shit because I ain't gonna lie. I definitely said in the rant, I was like, yo, Drake, like that nigga helped you with some bars, man. Help that nigga out. Maybe he ain't wasn't jacking yeah. that And then you said about how like uh, him and J. Cole, like don't like they do interviews with like uh, people who are not for the culture and shit. Damn. That's like three strikes, bro. Oh, yeah. You was talking your shit. But you know I just be giving it up. Like, y'all be keeping it a beam. But like, like no, I'm no, a... That, that's, that's what I was asking. Yo, act. how many days has it been since you sent him that DM? Five days? Ten days? Nah. It's, how many days? I sent him that on Thursday. You said it's ten days on Thursday? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. No. I sent it. That last Thursday at 5.32 p.m. Last Thursday. Okay, okay last, last Thursday. Thursday. All right, all right. So, yeah, so we, we Gucci. Hit that like button, nigga. Hit that like button. Boom it to the top. Wait, boom it to the top right now or wait boom, a couple boom days? Boom it to the top right now, nigga. Right now. Boom it. You sure? Boom it. Yo, yo, what? We don't got nothing to lose, gang. Boom <laughs> it. Yo, yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody in the Rebel Chat, what we doing right now? Yo. Everybody in the Rumble chat, tell that nigga, boom it. No way. Boom it. <laughs> nah, don't do that, bro. Yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Now, I'm thinking a few more I days. I know Drake the Petty King. Yo, yeah, bro, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. yo, 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 Rumble's telling you not to do it. Rumble, yo, let, let me tell you something. Rumble's telling you don't do it. You know why? Because the, your Rumble listeners are lacking courage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They lacking courage, bro. They need that. They're afraid of rejection, bro. Yo, bro, rejection is my best friend. So uh, we two different people, act. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, so who they, cares? Nah, they really say boom it, though. Oh, they saying boom it now? I bet. Boom nah, it. Nah, wait, boom no, it. no. Wait, hold on, though. Wait, hold on. We getting mixed messages, bro. I'm not going to hold you. Nah, hold on. Nah, nah. Let me... Th wait, wait. Uh, let the stream cook a little bit first. Now, nah, hold on. Hold yeah, on, let hold. yeah, let the stream cook. <laughs> yo, yo. You funny as hell. Let, yo, <laughs> yo, Swigger, I kid you not, nigga. I swear. Yo, everybody been hitting me in the DMs. You see my picture with Trump? They said, act. I passed the green line test, nigga. I kid you not. They said that nigga was oh, leaning in. I swear. Yeah, let me see. Your green. Put that pick up there real quick. Bruh. Yeah, bro, 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 I was maintaining frame, dog. I was maintaining frame, bro, like he was leaning in. Look, 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 look. Let me look. see. Wait, let me hold see on. you at act. Let me, I mean, you and Trump. Let me see look. if you passed the green line no, test. No, no, no. I'm about to make it the smaller. Green line test to see who was leading in, boy? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, let me see who was leaning in, bro. He leaning in. <laughs> he leaning in. I right, zoom in, zoom in. Like, let me see. Bro, he, he almost got his shoulder on me. Like, he leading in. Like, yo, bro, I told you, oh. like, yo, he might, yo, he leading in. Like, gang, you got to be, like, my vice president. Yo. yo. So he really said, he really said you ain't going to do worse than Kamala or you capping? Bro, he said that. Yo, Trump is a hilarious dude, bro. Niggas was saying this was the clone Trump, bro. Oh, now no, I don't know why they. I'm making my own green line right now. Give me a second. Let me see where you position. Nah, you got you got to see. Look, I passed. Chat, I passed the green line test, bro. I'm nah, not. Yeah. I'm not looking like ASAP Rocky in the picture, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm looking straight. Nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. If anything, Trump looked like he leaning in more than you. Come on, man. Like, come oh, on, yo, yo, okay, yo. Trump was trying to, you know, he was trying to get a hood pass from me, dog. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what he was doing. He was leaning in to get the hood pass. Facts. The hood pass is crazy. Nah, that's a fact. 
Because now, Vice President Act, president. if you do become Vice President, how you gonna help America, though? Keep it real. That's ill. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all be thinking about, yo, why the Vice President be some straight waste mans, yo? Like, yo, if Biden ain't doing shit as President, what the fuck was he doing as Vice President? Like, yo, think about that shit. What Kamala doing? I'm, not, not, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you though. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Now the first thing I'm doing, I'm cleaning up Chicago, man. We clean up Chicago and Philadelphia. We gotta okay, get that shit. Okay. Like and and then okay. I, okay, then after that, yo, we gonna really we gonna incentivize households that's not filled with dysfunction or that's not creating more career criminals. You feel me? So a, 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 anybody who's you know what I mean doing the right things in life, nigga, you know. Trump the stimmy god, you know what I mean? I'm taking a stimmy and I'm I'm giving it back to the hood, nigga. But we giving it to the right nah, people. Right. We giving it to the right people. We can't give it to niggas like BTB Savage and shit like that. They're, they're, they're not them type of niggas. Yo, 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 Ag, yo, you familiar with Antoine Dotson? Yeah. You know who that is, right? Hide your kids, hide your wife. Yeah, yeah, that dude. Yeah, yo, don't that nigga look like Almighty Suspect? Keep nah, it a band. I'm roasted right now. Hold on. <laughs> Nah, hey, yo, no. I just came in my head. I'm like, yo, bro. I saw Antoine nah, Dotson the other day. I said, holy son. Nah, That's stop definitely playing. Suspect. Oh, That's my wow. son. I fuck with suspect, but still. Nah. Word? Yo, yo, get a picture of Antoine Dotson, bro. And then put Almighty Suspect. <laughs> oh, nah. Yo, check that. Check that. Oh, look. Nah. Look. Look. Y'all playing right now. Yeah, I told y'all niggas, man. Yo. <laughs> nah, y'all nah. Whatever nah. happened to this fool, though? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he hit his kids and his wife. Yeah, yeah, he don't know jumper wife. now. Antoine. <laughs> y'all remember this shit? Antoine Dodson. This was epic. Hear this. For a woman. 48 to Elizabeth Jello. Wait, that was a woman? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Her brother no, rushed in to help and tried to fight the offender off. That break-in happened early this morning in the 500 block of Webster Drive in Huntsville. Kelly Dodson was asleep with her little girl inside their apartment on Webster Drive when... Uh, I was attacked by some idiot from out here in the projects. Dodson oh, says nah. her attacker used a garbage can to climb onto the unit's ledge, open the upstairs window, and then he got in bed with her. He, he tried to rape me. He tried to pull my clothes off. Oh, Dodson struggled with her attacker, knocking over items in her bedroom. Antoine Dodson heard his sister scream and ran to help. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. <laughs> He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up, trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband because they're raping everybody out here. The attacker got... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> nah. Yo, shout out all my these suspects, son. Yo, the, yo, the come up is real. Nah, you play with suspect until suspect get on your ass, nigga. <laughs> Yo, you play. Get suspect in here right now. Yo, get suspect in here. Tell him Cam up. We got to see if that's him or not. Nah, stop playing. <laughs> Yo, what, where you got to understand, act, that nigga's gone. Suspect is here. I mean, shit. I'm no fucking, uh, what's that, what's that magician's name, bro? That's in Vegas. David Copperfield or whatever. But David Blaine type shit. Hump David. Day. It's hump day. What's good, Boom? Yo, Boom, what's cracking, fool? What's popping, man? I just yo, love to chat, man. On my crackhead vibes. What's up? Hey, yo, chat. Yo, chat. This nigga, Boom, been telling me he said he on a weight loss journey to lose 45 pounds. True. I'm 180. I'm trying to be 130. Yo, I kid you not, he looks skinny as fuck. Chat, y'all got to tell me if he look fat. He said oh, he man, noticed nah, he was fat. Like no, doing that, bro. He said he noticed he was fat. Go to, go to No Jumper, right? When you go here, go to um. He did. All right, guys. I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Damn, about this shit look like a ghost town over here. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> it look like a ghost. Yo, how my boy Sharpie doing? They, they they treat him good. I ain't see Sharpie. I ain't see Sharpie. Damn. Anyway, <laughs> yo 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 yo. Boom did an interview with Flacco. No jumper. Come my boy Flacco, man. Boom said he looked fat right here. Yo, chat. That's a that's some fat nigga shit right there. Yeah, that's some fat nigga shit. You look bro. fat right here, bro. Boom, you did an interview with Flock. Yes, sir. Yo, look on the screen. Oh, he said he... on the No Jumper show though. No, hell no. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to smoke crack type shit. Oh, wait, yo, I want to do my sub. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, boom. Hey, boom. Hey, do, do like Boosie said, man. Uh, he he fuck with people who smoke crack. Don't do the fentanyl because you never seen a crackhead die. True. But he's seen fentanyl. Fentanyl's do. Hey, hey, Wayne Chuck, thank you for the $10. Uh, 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 what do they call it? The rumble bug? I don't even know what they call it over here. Uh, thank you for the $10 donation, though. Uh, my boy says, yo, uh, Zombie Beast, what's up with you? He says, yo, Ack, you're not going to dress Eminem getting 400 million monthly views compared to Drake with 200 million on YouTube? They're also close in Spotify numbers. Do you think Eminem is bigger worldwide? Well, yeah, you got to cite your sources. Like, where you get the 400 million from? We got to talk about it. Oh, Rumble Rants. That's, 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 that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. What did that be on his YouTube? Yo, chat, I kid yeah. you not. Yo, I don't know if y'all niggas seen this. I've been waiting for a week to talk about this. Have y'all seen Blueface getting a vase bro broken in his head, nigga? The newest shit, nigga. More violence, nigga. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, hey, hey. Did you see the baby bump? That that's the real thing. The baby bump. The, what you nah, mean that's the, fake. I, th I think that's fake, gang. Blueface. Nah, that nah, nah, Trump, no Trump posted a whole long story on Twitter and a picture of the baby bump. I was like, holy. Nah, but, you know, she had on those same jeans that day, bro. I think that that Yo. bump's not altered, bro. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. This shit is crazy. This nigga Blueface tweeted out, yo, y'all got to start giving me my flowers. She threw a vase at that nigga, bro. Like, that shit is crazy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that nigga said, y'all got to start giving me my flowers. Yo, hold on. Let me play this shit real quick. Look at this. All right. Why? Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. He got to go live to protect himself. This chick is like a... Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. It, maybe it's just me. I don't see nothing attractive about her. She just be acting like a, like a, like a wildebeest, bro. She from the hood. Let her do what you want to do, bro. Bro, the nigga's standing on the pool table, dog. Don't Just leave me alone. This is crazy. You doing what he got to do? Watch, watch this. Like there's a rat in the room. Yo, she grabbed the vase right now. Look, bro. If you throw that at me, I swear to God, I'm a beat you. Oh I'm shit. Alive. Nigga, you hear that? Nigga, I've been to the UFC fights. Nigga, I can tell when someone connect with a skull. That's a cranium hit right there, nigga. That's concussion protocol, bro. Referee got to call the fight off. This is where they do this. It's over. It's over. Come on. Medic, over here. I'm alive. Fuck. I'm alive. Your shoes are at one point, but she just got ugly. You know what I'm saying? Alive is going to save you. She's not ugly. No, no, no. She does not mean her personality is what makes her unattractive. This is like, I mean, but that's a product of her. Look at this. Bro, if you hit me God damn. Yo, I'm going to be honest with you. It's like, it can't, there's no way she could love this nigga. Like, bro, she's throwing the shit like she don't care if a splinter, like, fucking just cuts his fucking pupil out. Like, she don't give a fuck about nothing. Listen, for my safety now. Get off the line. Bro, if you hit me the... Get off All the right. line. All right. No, I need them to see. This is why You're you get fucked up right here. No, I want them to see. I ain't trying to do shit. Okay. When you go live and... I'm the toxic one, though. Yo, look at look at all that glass. Bro, leave me alone. I'm going to go outside. You leave me alone. All right. Better not act like. Jesus, I ain't gonna lie, man. That shit is crazy. I'm pregnant. I thought you were like her face getting fat and she's skinny sick. Yo, type shit. She, yeah, I believe she's pregnant, pregnant, or you think she's capping with this man? Nah, she not pregnant. I don't believe she's that. She's pregnant. So. Nah, Why are you pregnant? Pregnant? I'm praying pregnant. for that baby, bro. bro she got she the spawn of Satan in her stomach right now, bro. It's over with. <laughs> Yo, she posted something on, on the gram, and everybody's saying like. That's the baby bump. Bump. She like four months pregnant type shit. Look. Hey, she low key got the all um, pregnant woman glow, man. The titties looking right. What? How much no. alcohol can you oh, drink while you pregnant? pregnant? You're not supposed to be drinking at all. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you though. This shit look bananas right here. Holy, holy. Is that a bump or that's a henny gut? Yo, she really nah, got yeah, that Gucci man. Nah, that's a henny good. That's a henny good. That's hey, hey, she do got the pregnant woman glow with the titties though. The titties nah, that's is a henny butt. That's the henny butt. That might be a henny. Nah, gut. you gotta look at the titties because the titties yeah. were never that big. Yo, act, bro. Yo, act. 
unfortunately, she's pregnant, bro. She, you think so? That baby gonna bro. come out looking like a mutant, bro. Nigga, that baby gonna have five legs, nigga. Yo, by the way, hey, yo, yo, hey, Drew, hey, you, you can tell by this. the titties though. The titties looking looking right. You remember when Nikki was pregnant and she was on the six nine video and the titties was looking hey, good. Yo. It's the same thing. Mm. That is that is that is the true thing. The titties do swell during pregnancy. Wasn't she smoking Zah? She, she hilarious. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Blueface <laughs> tweeted out that it's, it's healthy for for chicks to smoke. I don't agree with that because I don't think doctors would agree with it. But man, I don't know, man. Mm -mm. Nah, my mama smoked when she when she had me. Your, your mama was a lie. Yeah, nigga, look at you. It Go back to that interview with um Flacco. Look at my son, boom. <laughs> Yo, my son, don't be talking nah. like that, boom. Nah, bro. Nah, nah, this is getting out of hand, man. All right, man. Yo, yo, by the way, yo, we're on Drake DM Watch real quick. L let me hop into this next topic real quick, then I'm going to get back into the Discord. Wait, 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 wait you, like mess you messaged Drake for the tickets? Yeah, I messaged Drake for the tickets. He ain't messaging me back, bro. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. No. Oh, but did you like man. Did you like the post? Did you like the At least post? he ain't leave you on scene. No, no, no. I think if I, I, I like, it going to seem like I'm too, like, if it's getting close to the concert, like, it's April. The concert in July. We got April, okay, May, yeah, 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 June, yeah, yeah, July. Yeah. It's three... Actually, we like booming in June. Boom, booming in June. Act booming in June. Nigga, it's no way he don't open my message for two months. If he don't do that, that nigga hating. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, God <laughs> damn. Yo, damn. I'm telling you, me and be talking. Like, bro. Like, that's gay. I'm gonna I'm ask him for you, bro. I'm gonna ask him for you, dog. Nah, nah, nigga. Nah, 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 nah. I gotta. This is the test of our relationship right here. You feel me? Oh, Exactly. Like Paul's you, just type shit. His, you just call his new single trash, though. Yeah, okay. but I'm gonna call the next one classic. Like, he already know. <laughs> it works yeah, like that. He's a very emotional nigga. Once he find out that you said it's trash, he gonna feel. That's what I'm saying. He petty, bro. I ain't gonna he lie. Petty, son. That Yo. boy petty, son. I don't think he give a fuck, bro. Nah, I'm gonna shit nah, nah, like that. You know, act got the voice of the future. So if Ax say it's whack, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna tell honest. him that Ax said it was whack, and he gonna feel ways. Yo, boom. I would say That's that, but look, look, look at this because I posted this too, like. Yo, he commented on a TikToker's like like post about him. They didn't even have no views. Like it's, it's a fan that that basically told me about this post. But like, look, this is what they said. This is what they said, right? And he commented this right two weeks ago. Look, this is what their opinion was. Watching this guy go viral on TikTok saying that Drake has no classic album. And I was That's like, the dumbest I ever heard. Because I was going to say, take care off the bat. Nothing was the same. Yeah. Views. Oh, here's another question I ask you. What is Drake's worst project? I would say it's Maybe Scorpion. That that he was talking. Oh, Scorpion. Hell yeah. That shit was overlooked. That shit was bunk. I think nah, Scorpion shit was kind of bunk. I'll put Scorpion in, man. That's but it was still one. a slap or two on there. It always. Like Drake commented and said. God's plan in my feelings. Nice for what? Nonstop. Jaded. Is there more? Sandra's role. That's how you feel. Emotionless. And he said slap song. He didn't even mention Mom Taz. Yeah. I got to be honest petty, with you. He's petty. Yeah, so he clearly, bro, they didn't have more than 20 comments. I swear. Like, when I saw it, 20 comments. Like, I don't even think I posted their name. So, probably still got 20 comments. Yo, <laughs> in reality, Drake Petty. But I ain't going to lie, this is one of his best projects. Anybody has it, Drake Petty, but is he sensitive though? Hold on, which, 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 which one is best projects? Which one? Scorpion. I, I, Scorpion is a classic. Oh, Scorpion, Scorpion. It, Scorpion. It, I, I said Scorpion was his thriller. Am I wild? His thriller. Ugh. Well, you know, Michael Jackson's thriller has all his biggest songs on it. I don't know. Scorpion don't know. has all Drake's biggest songs on it. Does it? It does. It has three fucking uh, seven time platinum songs on it. And one oh, is seventeen yeah. times. He got a raw career, bro. I don't know if the, that's that means they're the biggest. It's his biggest. It's his biggest album commercially. Well, if we think, well, Hotline Bling wasn't on it, and also yeah. uh, uh, One Dance wasn't on it. But God's playing shitting on both of them songs, bro. Is it? I don't know. Yes, bro. No, God's playing know. seventeen times. What? Not seventeen, but fifteen times platinum. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna say it. like th Thriller. Thriller is a classic, though. Well, actually, yeah. I call this classic too, though. Yeah, it's like Drake's thriller, not not his biggest thriller, but it's Drake's like biggest, like thriller's J Michael Jackson's biggest, like most goaded album. This is kind of you're right, most, nigga. You're you know right. what I mean? You're right. You're right. Hey, did anybody see that shit where uh that nigga um what's that boy's name again? Holy shit! Oh, Molly Mall? No, 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 no,
some type of way. Oh, Rich uh, Kwan? Oh, yeah, Rich Homie oh, oh. Kwan was going at it with with uh Roddy Rich. Oh, uh, Roddy Rich. Hey, hey, that that was granted. Right. Then a hey, Roddy Rich can't hold nothing to um to Rich Homie Kwan. Rich Homie Kwan beating his whole catalog. Oh, Rich Homie Kwan on. beating. Wait, wait, hold on. Let, let me play Yo, this ooh, first. Roddy Rich. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Play, play the video. Play the video. Play the video. Play the video, man. Play I fuck with Gucci, man. My brother was harder than Gucci. On it. Like, Wayne killed them motherfucker. Man, my shit was harder. All right, I'm going to actually play, play it on YouTube. So, essentially what happened, you know, if you guys don't know, this is what the screech has been telling me. Rich homie Kwan is back. The reason why, and now I'm getting to make sense to this, basically the dudes who Rich homie Kwan was fucking with was beefing with Thug. Thug locked up. Thug out the way. Why sell not saying nothing right about now? So, right now is when... Rich homie Kwan could go back up. Apparently, according to the Atlanta politics, they said a lot of why we didn't hear from Rich homie Kwan is because Thug and them was beefing with Rich homie Kwan's, like, associates. So it made sense that the niggas went in the beef or the people that, like, it, you're either, like, one side or the other. You're not going to like both, right? Anyway, Rich homie Kwan been doing his thing recently, and he started talking about Roddy Rich who he claims he was going to be on a song with Roddy Rich, except Roddy Rich took him off the song. And this is what he said. Here we go. This type of homework meeting. I'm okay, so like I'm saying, um, I want to say we did a listening party. My team, we did a listening party. Me, uh, all my all my managers, and we like we always do this. We go pick out the songs what we're going to use for the next project or whatnot. So we're doing that, but we use Drummer, we use Drummer Studio to do the, uh, the listening event. Cool, you know, I used to record that mean streak all the time, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Alright. So while we had to do the meet, I don't know if it was late they came in, but one of one of the drummers, it wasn't drummer. Cause I saw Cannon that day. It might have been Cannon that dropped the song or gave her a song. It was somebody that. But the song was lame as hell. When I I it went I man, the song was wacky fuck. I ain't gonna even lie, it wasn't my speed, it was wacky as fuck. <coughs> and I told my team that, they were like, don't tell drummer that. Like, man, tell him, man, send me some other thing. Long story short, he sends me another song. So he sends me the song on November 11th. He sent me is the song that's on his album. The song with the uh, F for me, then for you, F me, F you. Cool. There's nobody, there's no artist on the song. Nobody's dropped their verse on the song. Tell me why my stupid ass right, rush, rush back to the studio, get the song. I do the song, bro. In five minutes, bro. I send it back. Drama hit me. Bro, you just went crazy. Y'all ain't heard this version. Hold on. So, dude, so when the shit came out, this one I'm expected to hear. I'm expected to hear this. Man. I thought I got mad. I don't know what I'm saying. What I love Rich Obi Kwan. He be like, man. Hold on, we gonna skip past the music. Yeah. Five months ago, I mean, five days ago, Friday. So you know, I wonder why, like, you know, everybody sending me the thing. Damn, song. When nobody on that song when it was sent to me, man. All I'm saying is, even if you ain't want me on the song, man, man somebody could have called my phone or a coin, you know. Uh, yeah, since November, since November, and then but they I, I just talked to Daddy. Daddy was like, "Boy, you know they got Wayne and Gucci on that motherfucker now." I just had talked to Daddy a, a month ago about that. It may have been two months, but this year I talked to Daddy. He was like, "Boy, I'm just calling you, letting you know that." Uh, and Daddy can attest to this, bro. I, I'm not lying, nigga. Everything I'm saying, bro, nigga, not lying. Like, boy, you got, boy, you know I'm excited. But they got, they got that boy Wayne on there and Kuwa. I'm like, oh boy, and that boy Roddy. I ain't never got one with Roddy. So I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm playing them motherfuckers on my Twitch, I'm playing them motherfuckers in my car. Them motherfuckers drop, what well, I'm thinking, I'm on them motherfuckers, what coin is nowhere to be found. What type of shit is, when we started doing that, even if you ain't like my verse, you could've just, you know, like, bro, we're gonna go a different route. But bro, I fuck with Gucci, man, my verse was harder than Gucci on it, man, why ain't killed them motherfuckers? Man, my shit was harder than writing. So then they say, well, Corn, you know, I ain't really trying to start no industry shit. Roddy Rich wanted you off the song. Man, I ain't got no, I ain't even met Roddy. I ain't never met Roddy. I ain't even know he felt some type of way about me. But 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 if he do, and since he do, 
Man, Roddy got that box on. I bet his catalog can't fuck with mine on damn day. And that nigga, that, that, that's on all the money he got in the bank. Nigga, I bet my, I bet a, I bet a hundred thousand. Let me make, this, let me say this right. I bet my, I bet I put ten million mm. to his one million. His catalog can't fuck with mine now, day. Cause you ain't, you the one that took me off the song, nigga. They already said it. Yeah, it was Roddy's song. Roddy didn't want you on the song, corn. So, uh. Roddy, 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 Roddy wanted you off the song. Yeah, so okay, Roddy Rich removed him from a song allegedly. By the way, they later kind of pieced it up. Uh, I, I want to be very fair and let y'all know there's no beef if you haven't seen it. Uh, they, they they squashed it, or Rich Homie Quan went back on his Instagram and said, yo, ain't no beef. But at first, he was basically upset that he wasn't on the song. He pointed out that he did music or he recorded to the song first. And, you know, essentially, you know, he got removed from the song. Let me see if I can find where he said that. Where is it at? He basically came back and he says, yo, just got off the phone with Roddy Rich. Everything is smooth. We sell it like men. I want to apologize for my position at the moment and take this opportunity to show everyone that through conversation, we could have solutions. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably with some petty shit like not Roddy Rich, Rich saying that he don't fuck with him. He was just saying, yo, yo, the song's too long or yo, we got to cut something or whatever the case is. Or he might have just been a scapegoat. Now, I'm glad these two black men don't have problems because I want to promote black people having problems. <clears throat> but the interesting thing, what he did say is, Rich Homie Kwan said his catalog would beat Roddy Rich's catalog. And I was thinking about this for a little bit. And I do think if I did a versus and I was Rich Homie, wait, let me actually, give me a second. Amen. Who y'all think winning, Roddy Rich or, or Rich Homie Quan? Rich Homie Quan, Roddy Rich, nigga. Roddy Rich. Rich, 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 Rich Homie Quan watching him, bro. What, what say? Who says Rich Homie Quan? Boom. Nick Wale, bro. Rich Homie Quan winning, bro. What winning in a versus or fighting, guys? In a versus, nigga. In a versus. Oh no, nah, no, nah, versus Rich. Roddy Rich, Roddy Rich, Roddy oh, Rich. Nah, Rich Homie. Rich Homie. Roddy, Rich, bro. Bro. Roddy Rich, y'all niggas geek. Hell yeah, no. Bro, like, you really think about it, he already got the catalog. Who? Yeah, Rich Homie Quan don't got the catalog. Rich Homie do got the catalog. Rich Homie Quan don't got the catalog to go with. No, 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 no. I said, no, Rich Homie definitely, definitely, got the catalog. No, definitely, definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. He has the catalog. I'm saying, Roddy Rich may not have the catalog. He got the catalog. He's <laughs> not better than Rich Homie's. Like, tell yeah, me, no, I, not, I, 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 like, tell Hold me on. Rich Homie's biggest song. I believe. The Box. I agree, I agree. I, I don't know. The Box, bro. Wait, wait. We could prove it. Ball, tell me, tell me yeah. Rich Homie Cohen's yeah. biggest song where he's not the feature. It don't matter, nigga. Exactly. It's his song. Exactly. Nigga said it yo, don't matter, nigga. What are you talking about? What? Yo, yo. It, yo, it, it also, it also does matter. It also does matter that a lot of Rich Homie Quan songs that really are going to hit it got released before the streaming era really picked up and some of them were on mixtapes. Remember you used to drop shit via yeah. my mixtapes. Yeah. Roddy how, Rich how many songs got a are you lot allowed of, to um how many songs are you allowed to perform on the verses? 20? 20. 10? 20. 20, right? No, that's what I'm saying. So, Rich Homie Quan don't got 20 hits. Yes, Roddy Rich he, yes, he, do. he, does, he does not have 20 yeah, hits. Listen. Bro. Yeah, listen, listen, Rich Homie like Quan got 20 hits. Yeah. Yo, first I of all, Roddy Rich is coming green. out with the box every season, die young, down below, balling, high okay. fashion, okay. late at night, okay. Project Dreams, okay. for the gang, listen. backseat. Now he's just naming shit. Listen, listen. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, like wait hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Swiggas just made a good point. No, he no, I just, I just gave no, you ten minutes, not. bro. Yo, hold on. All right, wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Niggas don't even know. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's do it virtually. Let's do it virtually. Season, you don't know Die Young. Yeah, let's do it virtually. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's do it virtually. Hold on. Let's do it virtually. If we're, if we're saying, if I say I don't think there's a song that beats Ballin, nor the box. Lifestyle, lifestyle beats Ballin. Oh, he lifestyle is on Lifestyle. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Facts. Lifestyle beats both of them songs. Lifestyle does not beat balling, nigga. Yes, it does. Nigga, you crazy, nigga? Yeah. Yes, it fucking does. Lifestyle, watch it. Nigga, Lifestyle, lifestyle got nominated for a Grammy. Ball, 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 literally an anthem, bro. It's a dated-ass yeah, song, was like a bro. Cool, like, we're not cool, dated. Summer joints, but Lifestyle was an anthem. It's still dated. 
Bro, niggas bump lifestyle right now. Niggas bumping that shit right now. Mm, that is true. Bro, what? Like, bro, if it weren't for lifestyle, I wouldn't be no fucking balling, bro. He started that mama rap. What was he saying? Nigga, lifestyle was like, what was he saying? Oh, there's the nobody bumping lifestyle. Nigga, lifestyle was washing, bro, mama Cita. washing that shit, bro. Like, come Yo, on. Yo, even Chad I don't even remember Mama Cita. How did that keep in mind? Y'all gotta keep in mind. Rich Homie Kwambi was the main. Like he, he yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. To other niggas. All right, other than lifestyle, what's gonna be this? Wait, oh, I'm playing on the wrong computer. I'm tripping. My nigga, you got my nigga. Oh no, 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 hold on, no, no, I got, I got, I got it. Here we go. This. What's gonna right be there. this one? Big track. I'm waiting. What's gonna be it? I can't hear it. Hear no, so, you don't know that song, bro. Come on. Yo, yo, my nigga yeah, be in that. Yeah, nigga, my, yeah. my nigga be in that. What? Yeah, type of way is being that. Type of way is being that. Type of way is being that. No, yo, yo, differences. The difference between me yo, yo, and you is being that. Yo, yo, here's the funny thing. Is here's the funny thing. Roddy got some heavyweight songs. So like, we we talking mm -hmm. about balling mm -hmm. and die young. We ain't get to every season. There's nothing that there's season. nothing there's nothing that Rich Homie Kwan got oh, that would be this. Middle. How about okay, but in the middle? Ag, wait, but Ag, you, ain't, middle. you ain't get to Milk Marie. Hold you on. Get to nothing off Rich Gang. Milk Marie? Who the fuck is that? Bro, you gotta play, play flex. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you ain't do flex. You ain't do my nigga. You ain't do I know. You ain't do Mama Cita. Like, bro, what? Bro, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, hold on. I'm gonna be honest with you. It depends. It depends on what type of verse it is. It depends on what type of verses it is. I'm gonna tell you why it depends, right? Because if you look at Roddy Rich, Roddy Rich has songs like this right here, right? If he plays Rockstar, bruh, I know he's a feature, but this is a huge song, bro. Okay. Bro. I mean, Quan got a couple of those too, though. Now, nah, yeah, Quan do got some shit. Bro, he got Mama Sita, nigga. Do you forget? Yo, we need to go in the Discord and do a versus. I got Roddy Rich with a hundred dollars. Who who going against oh, me? Nigga, I'm the biggest Rich Homie Quan fan. I'm telling you, Roddy Rich. Can't oh my god! I'm gonna lose. This question. I, I, I do think it's a good matchup. Yo, and hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, yo, is it a possibility that we could run a poll on Rumble? I want to say we could run a poll on Rumble. Yeah, like to see five songs. Roddy Rich is clipped, bro. Yeah, nah, you know, like, capping like, for your mans bro, right bro, now. Like, don't violate bro, Roddy bro, for your bro, mans, bro. Roddy got man. twenty, bro. He got Dude, twenty. Nah, 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 nah. Roddy, what you talking? Roddy bro? got Roddy nasty, bro. but like, bro, like rich homie. He got the meek pose. He got the meek pose, bro. He's gonna out the meek up some hits. The only thing about Roddy that 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 is so crazy is that Roddy literally. I mean, no, not Roddy. I mean, rich homie Quan literally is like a part of a generation. Like, like. That nigga, that nigga lasted in a, a part of our lives that like I, I don't know if Roddy Rich has that impact. Impact. He doesn't, bro. I was gonna say that he don't got the same impact. You got what Roddy Rich has is what Thug can do, bro. So he's not doing anything different. Atlanta loves Rich. He's not gonna be here five bro. years from now, bro. And, and to be no. honest, I was about to say if you look at Roddy Rich's career trajectory wise, he might end up in the same position that this nigga Kwan is. It's not impossible for him. All right, hold on. Oh, no, 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 don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yo, 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 give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yes, motherfucker. That's my new number. Yo, we got Aiden Ross in the building, people. Aiden motherfucking Ross. Look at him. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't rumble, brother. Oh, my God, bro. Yo, come on. Come, yo, yo, first of all, you were on rumble the whole night at the fight. I know. Yo, get in Discord. Get in Discord. Yo, get in Discord because I'm now on Twitch. We can finally talk. Get in Discord. Get, get in Discord. All right, bet. All right, people. Give me a second. I don't know if y'all know Aiden Ross. We about to troll this bitch ass thing real quick. Nah, that's my guy. That's my guy. I love him. Um, Aiden was there with us at the fight too, man. Loki, I got to talk to him because I thought he didn't fuck with Trump. But, like, he was definitely, like, everybody was fair. I'm going to be honest with you. Bro, it sounds cool, like, saying fuck a political candidate until, like, you're in that candidate's face, bro. Like, everybody was kind of, like, rocking with him. Let me see. Oh, Aiden's right here. Let me call this bitch. Let's see. Aiden, what's up, bro? Yo, 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 what's up,
And by the way, it's all love. Like, you know, if I'm saying bitch ass nigga, that's my guy. Yo, turn your camera on. You wanna see me? Yes, why do you sound like a Kinect mic from Xbox 360? <laughs> you wanna see yo! Yes! Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm turning my camera on. Relax, nigga. Hold on, hold on. Can I add sneak on here? Oh, of course. Yo, that's crazy because now all the people who are like banned on all these platforms, I could actually talk to them. Yo, before you used to be calling when I'm on Twitch. Dog, when I'm on Twitch, like, I'm like, yo, he knows I'm on Twitch. They about to kick me the fuck off of there. Which, by the way, I'm get, I get, on, I get on ban in like five days. When are you getting on ban off Twitch? Hold on, let me, let me turn my camera. Uh, bang. And then, how do I do this? Oh, I gotta answer this call. They got caught up with some shit. All right. All right, perfect. Still, so yo, Sneeko, what the fuck? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta just turn my, my camera on type shit. Hey, Act, welcome to Rumble. First stream, right? My first stream, my boy. Hey, how you feeling, man? You hennied up? Nah, I'm not even off the henny. I'm cooling, though. Uh, Y'all can see Big Act? Wait, hold on. Wait, I gotta no. Up. No, I cannot see Big Act. Yo, come on, man. Wait, you, yeah, don't talk to Big Act like that. you have to deactivate your cameras at OBS. Bro, you, like, you know I've been streaming longer than you've been alive, right? Like... Like, come on, bro. Like, you gotta, you gotta pay some homage. Oh, here we go. Turn on the camera. What's up? Wait, why is it not turning on? What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, there we go. All right, All right. go right. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect. Uh, all right, chat. I'm gonna put this on the screen. What's good, both of you? What's good? We just saw each other. We all met Donald Trump. Kind of a good experience. We all got to uh, witness together. No, wait, wait. I want to know what you honestly think about Donald Trump. Because for whatever reason, I thought it was going to be awkward. I thought you were jacking Yay24. Yes, only if Yay24 was a part of it. So you see here, he needs to acquire me. Other, I told Kai, you know, I told this, I told everyone, I told Flint, that's what I run. And listen, Yay24 would only work if they had me on their roster. And it's fact. What? It's facts. Yes, bro. They, he wouldn't win. He would only become president if I, if I was on the team. Ak, he wants to be the token Jew. Huh? He wanted Aiden wanted to be the token Jew for representation. Hey, I'm not on the politics wave anymore, but um, I will say, yo, I love Donald Trump. My goat. Yo, first of all, I'm glad you're off the politics wave. Yo, Aiden, man. First of all, I got a lot to say to you. I got a lot to say to Sneeko, too. Yo, first of all, Aiden, you got to come back down to earth, brother. You got to come back to the people. We get it. You've been trying to be like uh, Tate for a little bit. Brother, you feel Oh, my you? God. I I already, that's the thing. I, I've already, I've, I'm, this is the resurrected area. It just started yesterday. So watch it a month. You're about to see a whole new aid. It's already, it's already in the books. Yo, yo why is there, there's a new aid in every other week. Yo, yo, have you seen a video on him? There's a video. Yo, I watched it. Oh my God. There's a it's video. Do, a video. The Patrick CC? I was about to watch that. I watched it. It's a good video. It's a great video. Yo, Aiden, you're my dude. And I watched it and I literally said, Yo, this is kind of right. My dude keep trying to reinvent himself. What's up with the reinvention, dog? Be yourself. It's good. Nah, nah. I was never, I was always being myself. What are you talking about? Bro, but. I'm me. But, but you nah, don't have nah, to like. And, and, and I'm going to go back to me. I'm going to go back to Agami. I'm going to go back to so why people started falling in love with me. And that's what I'm going to go back to doing. I'm getting away from that politics era. I'm getting away from motherfuckers like Sneeko. Okay? Yo, and yo. I'm going back to, I'm going back to him. Yo, Sneeko. Guys, we're at the fucking fight. This dude's asking Random fucking influencers. Yo, bro, what are your thoughts on Mr. Beast's friend? Like, why are you like, people are just trying to watch a fight, bro. Like, and you're like asking motherfuckers, what are your thoughts on the fucking, on Chris? It's crazy. Yo, it's Kurt, I can't have a conversation with somebody. Like, even Wait, if I ask, even if I say how many genders are there, if I ask somebody if, if there's only two genders, enough. that's apparently political. It fair shouldn't enough. be political fair that enough. there's only fair two enough. genders. Fair enough. I know. I know that's the world we live in today. Fair enough. But Sneeko, I just, hold on. Hold on. Sneeko. The first thing you're like, hi, I'm Sneeko. The other person's like, hi, my name is blah, blah, You're like, what is your opinion? Like, it's the first thing you say to him. It's insane. <laughs> I like conversations. I like being able to uh, to go back and forth about something. What do you want me to be like? Oh, nice fight. Good kick's going on. <laughs> hey, yo, Ak, apparently your, your screen is black. Your screen's black. Uh, Chris is texting me in my chat saying that your, your screen fucked up, man. Yo, I'm an idiot, bro. Hold on. I got it. I got it. All right. Snake, uh, did you did you when you met when you met Trump? Were you were you fanboying a little bit? I was. Were you? I was fanboying OD. Sneaker update just just posted a picture. You know, you know what a lot of the people like to say, and especially like arguments from from Destiny. 
Uh, they like to say that I'm just embracing the red pill for clout and for, for money. But I went to Trump rallies dolo in 2015 and 2016. I went alone. Yo, this is what been, I like about Steve. I voted, that's the only president I voted for was Trump. Yo, in 2016. Stico, you were just rocking Yay 24 merch. You can't just jump from dick to dick. <laughs> you gotta like, you gotta fuck with. Bro, every, no. Everybody on Yay 24, Yay took pictures with Trump. Yo. Everybody on Yay 24 were all like former Trump supporters. Yo, everybody that was way, there. By the way, Sneeko not gonna say this, but he was waiting in line to take pictures with Trump, and Secret Service was grilling the fuck out of him. Be honest, did you think they recognized you? Be honest. Secret Service? No, I don't think so. <laughs> or somebody like in the team would be like, yo, don't take a picture with him. Like, he's not one of those. I don't think so. I don't think they knew who I was. And also, you filmed it and put it on your story, so it's not like it's something I need to hide. Come on. Regardless, bro, no matter the political affiliation, I would always take it. It's Trump. Even politics aside, how could you not take a picture with Trump? Yeah. How could No, nah, real shit. How could you not take a picture picture with Trump? Yo, by the way, like, all, all the Democrats, would y'all take a picture with Trump? I'm genuinely curious. If you you think the Democrats take a picture with Trump, they see him? Come on, I think they are. Yo, 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 Aiden. So I was on a call, right? Right before I even that's why I was late to even the stream. People in hip hop, they're like, yo, act, you went all right. You took a picture with Trump. I'm like, yo, it's the former president of the United States. By the way, I'm not opposed to him because by the way, I think Biden's been like, let's not even get into, I don't even want to get into politics. But like everyone thought that picture was like some crazy shit. Like I didn't think that my community would give a fuck at all. I, I think Did they they? Like, what? Bro, they've been writing that. Yo, they've been writing articles and think pieces. I read those. Saying that, all. saying that all the hip hop outlets have been infiltrated by all right. I couldn't believe it, bro. I swear I couldn't believe it, bro. So, first of all, academics, why do you have nine monitors? Fuck you, bro. <laughs> no, wait. I'm genuinely curious. Like, that what? is wild, bro. Who are you spying on, man? Dude, you're like a fucking hacker. Shit, I tried, man. I tried. Hey, 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 hey. I, I need two for CSGO. I need two for Uber Eats. I need two for stream. You know what I mean? We're kicking it over here. Yo, Aiden, wait, how'd you get tickets? I know how I got to. How did you get tickets to that whole shit? I know. Y'all got tickets to Rumble. I know. Yo. I know you did. Okay. How did you That's why academics at first, I was like, that's getting close to the Rumble guys. And then you signed. I'm like, good for you. How come you didn't tell me when I when we were talking? You never, you didn't tell me. Because it was secret. I, yeah, because I couldn't ruin the surprise. And also, like, like, yo, that's water in the bridge. We can't even talk about it. <laughs> um, I got tickets because uh, Dana. Dana hooked me up. Oh. Yo, why, why do you think that nobody's covering academics joining Rumble? Besides hippies is saying that he's all right. Jadeon joins Rumble. They're all silent. But all the fucking blogs, even though, Aiden, you criticize a lot of them for saying that you're a bad person, like Dick Zerto and Jake, whatever the fuck, they will cover kick, 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 kick yeah, all goddamn day long. Wait, but then we get... We get sure. you on. We get academics silent. Nobody's talking about Rumble getting these big ass signings. Ray sure. just going to be like, I'm not going to Rumble. Ain't nobody talking about it. You see the actual agenda? This is a free speech platform and everybody's quiet because they don't like free speech. They don't like conservative. Hey, hey no. this is a free speech platform too. The fuck? No, no, by no, the way. Not, not until the Amazon services shut you down for saying something that you shouldn't say. Yo, yo, yo. yo. By the way, by the way, you see, you get a motherfucker like Sneak on here. And Sneeko is just so up like an alley that it makes me seem like I'm political. I don't give a fuck what he's talking about. All I want to say, because I like I like to talk about creators. And you know, when I talk to you, Aiden, we talk about creators. Always. Let me tell you this. I think we're in a really unique space where creators are not only beholden to the normal platforms that we're used to, whether it's Twitch, YouTube. Instagram, TikTok, even even TikTok. I think there's new platforms emerging, and I think I've been trying to send this message for the longest. I think every creator should realize: don't be a slave to any platform. Use every platform. You shouldn't like listen. Not because I'm here means it's fuck YouTube or fuck any other platform. But we have to start reaching out to these other platforms. And I look at you, and I look sure. at even like Kai. And you know, we've had this conversation. I'm like, yo, bro, every streamer who has influence, I was so shocked when you made that move, right? Because, you know, I think creators like you latch on to that, yo, I'm hot in this moment. 
And rarely do you see people walk away. It's usually the Sneakos that said, well, since you kicked me to the curve, no disrespect, Sneeko, you kicked me to the curve, I got to go do this. But you were in a position where you had the youth in your hand and you're like, yo, this is a good business move. And I know a lot of people have been getting into for whatever reason, but I do think you're exercising your right as a creator to do some good shit. He's talking shit under his breath. Look at this. Now I'm not talking. I'm not talking shit. I want to say one thing. You're not wrong. You're not. You're not wrong. Um, and you know what I want to say is you brought a good point up to me uh, at the UFC fight. You told me um, it's like a free agency for these streamers, bro. It's a these streamers are gonna start to get paid. Yo, at, did you see Saudi Arabia is investing billions of dollars into esports and e gaming and shit? Of course billions not millions billions of dollars who saw that chat y'all y'all saw that shit what i'm trying to say is it's just the beginning for this shit and you told me within this next five years it's gonna get interesting because now kick is a competitor to twitch this shit has only been a this shit was has only been a concept for a few months you know what i'm saying so it's like for me we're gonna see so much shit and, so much, too. and rumble's more youtube right isn't it isn't, isn't that Sneeko? am i wrong isn't rumble like, is twitch and youtube we, we got twitch and youtube at the same time like kick is cool whatever bro hosted on amazon services but you can't really <laughs> upload videos like that we got both at the same time I mean, and we got free fair speech enough, fair and enough. we got our own cloud yeah. service we're not owned by amazon amazon also owns twitch so it's pretty much the same well, exact well, platform. fair enough I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a word in i'm gonna get a word in okay uh, Sneeko, Kick gets posted on all the blogs. All right, Rumble gets posted nowhere. Yeah, I mean, Matrix I, platform, I, Matrix I, platform. I, I wanna, and if, 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 we're, if we're really gonna if we're really gonna give credit about like influencers who started this like alternative platform shit, who really did it before me? Yo, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, yo, 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 I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you a major a major concern of Kick of mine. I I don't I think with Kick I don't know when the feds might kick the door down and say, hey, listen, yo. Number one, y'all are straight copying Twitch. Like, like I ain't gonna lie, I like the UI, but yo, the UI, yo, He's yo, so yo, I think y'all even have a just chatting section. Yo, it's crazy. Y'all are straight copying Twitch. Second of all, this whole shit is funded by gambling. There's really like yes, you're not wrong. Let me explain. I'm gonna explain because I'm the representative. As a creator, Sneeko, don't Sneeko, Sneeko, you bet. My, listen, Sneeko, fuck that shit. You drank, that was Haram, and you also gambled. We had a I bet that night. Yo, you I, I shit. We we did bet, Sneeko. I bet you on that money. fight. We, we bet, bet. but we did not. Sneeko, so Sneeko, don't be ironic. I want to say one thing. I want to say one thing about kick. Here's the thing. Classic snaky tactics, man. When when this shit when this shit is monetizable with, through advertisements and shit. Uh -huh. It's gonna people are gonna really understand academics. What Kick is doing for small streamers and mid-sized creators itself, no other platform has done it. Offered a ninety, what is it, a ninety-five-five split, offering a bunch of a bunch of great services. Yes, there's issues, there's problems. For example, my viewers just went from fucking sixty to ninety thousand in one second. There's there's influ there there's problems with that. There there is honestly problems. There's issues, but it's so brand new. It's in beta. Give this shit some time. I get it. I get what you're saying, but once it's monetizable and it's really legit off advertisements and they sell ads and shit, hold you're going to understand. Yeah, this I, shit I, is not like a pop of dub crypto to me. It seems like something that people are going to make a gambling bag off now. They're ripping off Twitch. And then as soon as the feds start knocking on your door for this gambling stuff and how it's not regulated in the US, then people are going to go find another platform to yeah, go well, on. Well, look, well, look, let me say this. Let me say this. You could say that. Cool. But once they sign these big creators, man, and it's, it, you know, there's some big, there's some big names about a sign. You know, there's not really, it's not really, it's getting away from that. That won't be gambling. That won't be doing certain shit. You know what I mean? So that's how I see it. I, you know, I see that it's going to be cut in half. It's going to be split uh, up and everyone, every, you're going to be, you're going to get a little bit of every community on this shit. People well, that don't. Well, well Aiden, you, you also have to think about, so one thing about kick that kind of scares me because I've, you know, as a creator, we do know that. We essentially have to create content where ads are ran against our content. Kick doesn't have ads. And honestly, I don't Not know. yet. Well, I mean, you stream porn. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think they're close to getting ads. Like, you know Fair what I mean? Enough. Like, bro, so look, what, so look, what, look. <laughs> can I say one thing? Please. Porn do you is know, crazy. Do you it was, and you guys both know I I fucked up, okay? Academics. Didn't you say something about you fuck 
You know what I'm saying? Academics about the college girls that 17 or I don't know, you know what the fuck I'm talking about, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Brother, brother, it's Nico. It's Nico. You said it. It's Nico. You said you like cooties or whatever. Wait, 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 wait. Don't wait, suck on. my dick. Wait, wait. You. I'm not going to get you. We got to talk in context right now. now. Hold on. Why are you so mad? Just let me say what I want to say, please. I'm fucking with both of you, academics. I know what you meant by that. I know what you meant by that. Everyone did. Listen, it's a 2 be fucking one. Do you know what Twitch is back? Do you know where it started 10 years ago named Justin TV? And this shit I know. was and this shit. You there used to be crazy shit being streamed on Justin TV. Crazy things. Like honestly, compared to this, everyone said they, they were reminded, you know what I'm saying, by early uh Just TV to kick. But I can't stream porn again. I, if I do that, I'm gonna get banned. I, I you know, I learned my lesson on that shit. Sneak up, stop smiling. I, it was fucked up. It was wrong. I get it, bro. I get it. I don't even watch porn. I've been jerked off since 2020, 20, 22. That's bad, bro. Black, this is, this is why Aiden has a new error every two weeks. It's so that he can just take away accountability for his act. Bro, you started off this year like, oh, 2020, 20, 23, I'm on my grind, no haram. I'm meditating. I'm spiritual Aiden now, yes. all this stuff. And then you signed to a gambling platform, which is literally haram. It's not a gambling Wait, platform. I you never drink gamble. alcohol. You drink okay. alcohol. How do you know what's in my cup? You enforce in threesomes. That's yeah. haram, cucko. Yo. Listen. Yo, oh, Aiden, 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 Aiden's talking crazy I, right now for a lean addict right now. Yo, Aiden, I wish you would just tell the truth. Aiden, you fucking open Aiden, Aiden, I wish you would just be honest. I wish you would just be honest because we know the truth, right? Um, and, and, and In a rare case, like... If, you know, I'm a smaller creator than you, but you're a huge creator. I think whatever bag, and you know, who knows what it is, whatever bag that kick gave you was astronomical compared to any who were who, like, of course. But do you understand? They're What's offering bags for people that are not going to be gambling. For one, for two, of course, bro. Stake, stake started kick. It got out there. It's not, it's not. It's no information. Of course, they're funding it. But that should show you they have they have this money to fucking pay these creators who are deserving of their paycheck. The whole thing was this, and and you guys can agree because you're on Rumble. Twitch underpays the fuck out of creators. Facts or cap? Just enter that. I don't know. I was banned in two days. I have no idea what Twitch is about. Okay, okay. but I, I, it's an, it's a yes or no question. No, Does no. Twitch underpay their creators? Yes or no? No, absolutely. Not and if by you're the way, a leftist. By, by the way, no one <laughs> really thought this strongly about creator pay until this year because you thought you were supposed to get almost nothing. Let's be honest, right? So Academic, right academics. Can, if I told you the number that Twitch makes off of creators like Kai and XQC and etc., and, and and if I told you what they were getting paid, mm -hmm. you would laugh. They are selling advertisements and making a fortune, and they are put and they are pushing they are pushing these streamers to spam ads and their own communities to get mad at them. And you won't ever hear these these Twitch puppets talk about it. You know that are signed to these deals. You know the sons and stuff. You won't ever hear them talk about it because they have they have higher contracts than these other these other streamers. Is For example. Cool? Of course, it's true. Hassan has a. I, he, I think he said he. Hassan doesn't. has a Twitch deal, hundred percent. Come on, bro. Sneeko. Would you agree? Twitch is a is a far uh, left platform. Twitch is a far left platform, but Kick is not that different than than oh Twitch. God, and also, don't you have gambling requirements to be on Kick? Like, isn't that in the contract that you uh, have? Like, I, I I didn't have to. I took it for extra money, and I enjoy gambling. That's what I do. So that's not in the contract for everybody else in there that they have to have required gambling hours. No, no. You're gonna see Destiny. I, he's a streamer. He doesn't gamble. Uh, you're gonna see more creators sign that don't gamble. No. Okay, so where's the money coming from? I just told you. It's obviously, be bro. I told you, bro. They, they're, they're not monetizing right now. They're probably losing money. I don't know. They're building their platform from the ground up, and they're becoming. They're gonna be. They're gonna be monetizing when they have ads. This seems kind of pump and dumpy. Hey, wait, wait, hold on, no, wait. So how is Rumble, how is Rumble monetizing? Let me ask you. I'm just curious. Well, it's, there's ads. They have ads. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, hold on. How, wait, wait, how, hold on. how long? How long has Rumble? How, how long has Rumble been up for? Rumble's been out for a couple of years. Okay, there yeah, you go. Yeah, I, I, you know how long Kick has been up for? A couple months. Uh, well, a couple you know, months, yeah. What I'll definitely say about Rumble that, that made me exactly. a little bit encouraged as a creator is that, you know, they increased their revenue, um, like, it was about, like, three times from 2021 to 2022, which means they're in an upward climb. Clearly, they have some type of monetization strategy and some way to make income. I always thought with Kick that, like, yo, listen, this is obviously to promote steak, but you're also at the at the... Like you're at the okay. risk of of potentially one day, 
kick just gets shut down and no they have their own they have their own contract signed and stuff bro they're protected they're and and here's the thing that's why you guys are you can't, be so, quick. Kick, do you you get can't be so quick to judge you just said rumble's been out for years kick's been out for months there's a big difference bro if in two years if kick does not have ads then there's a problem okay but can you agree that the basis of kick is gambling the basis of Rumble has you, always it, been. It's going to be it's going to be flattened out once these big creators take like, the checks and don't gamble. Kick was built around gambling. Rumble is always built, kick was built funded from stake. Of course, it's there it's, you go. You can debate. Oh, so so you're not letting me finish. But that's, public, like, but Nico, that's that's public information that, that everyone knows. And I'm comparing yeah. it to Rumble. Rumble was based around free speech from the start. It was own services. It's own like I'm a, I'm nobody I'm just, I'm just should sure be banned. Saying. They allow every they I'm allow free speech. That's the basis of Rumble. I'm curious though. I'm curious because I've never and, I, and I'm not saying this to hate on and Rumble. I'm not. You know, there's a point in time where I wanted to be on Rumble. You know what I'm saying? And I still am, am exploring that. Who the fuck is on Rumble? Who the fuck watches Rumble? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. A Who lot are? of people. The entire conservative population in America, oh, all the MAGA no, people, no, Trump no, specifically. No, 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 these are two, like, with all due respect, and, and shit, I'm on Rumble now, too, but these are two small goldfish competing in a aquarium filled with the shark. It's not. Which is Here's oh, the funny part. Wait, wait, hold on, Here's hold on, hold on. Go, go ahead. ahead. I'm going to let you finish. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The, 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 like, you guys are talking about kick versus rumble, but in reality, here's the po point. You know, me and you definitely, um, Aiden, we came from, from in a live stream background from Twitch. And I'm yes. wondering what's the future of twitch and what should a twitch creator be thinking about now now there are competitors for me you know even though i i'm loyal to youtube in the sense of making videos but have i always wondered if there could be a competitor to host videos i remember looking at vimeo i remember looking at other platforms because yeah. when one person has a monopoly over any space and we're just talking business wise this is what i'm saying having the kick versus rumble conversation that's like keeping it on a base level you could go tit for tat all day long but in reality the whole reason why aiden i would imagine you left and also the reason why i said hey let me go try another platform is because Twitch, who had the monopoly on streaming, clearly they were lacking a few things. And I'm wondering, what does all these other platforms, what does Sneeko being on Rumble, me being on Rumble, you being on Kick, and S Speed being on YouTube, at, at, at least for the moment, what does that do to Twitch's market share? What's the fucking goal? Like, it breaks up the monopoly. Saying. It's only going to be leftists. It's only going to be blue-haired people with hot tub streamers. But Twitch is going to be an OnlyFans funnel. That's what I'm saying. Long. That's what I'm saying to you, bro. It's ironic, right? Well, and it's not what you said. You also said, who's watching Rumble? Look, everybody in your stream, I and you especially... That. I said that, too. I said that, and here's why I said that. It's because... Sneeko, I'm going to double down. I did say that. Personally speaking, I don't have Rumble down on my phone. I have my demographic. I'm asking you guys who has Rumble down with it. I don't know if you guys do it. I'm asking you who watches Rumble. I'm, I'm genuinely, I asked that. Who watches Every Rumble? Every Tate supporter, probably half the people who watch your stream, if they watch any emergency meeting or if they want to watch Andrew Tate, Andrew Tate is I mean, blocked everyone, off of TikTok everyone, everyone, and everyone on YouTube. No. Everyone say no here. Sneeko, I'm not, I just asked a question. I said, but who you, watches Okay, Rumble? But, but don't you see how stupid that is that all of your fan base loves Tate? You just, we started this conversation talking about Trump. I love Andrew Tate. Okay, so we started this conversation talking about Trump. Trump is no, exclusively on Rumble. Tate is I exclusively on Rumble. At first, what I tried to do with this conversation was I tried to talk about Twitch, and then you came after me for kick. So I have to, of course, uh, guard my, my platform. This is my baby. Look, you know I'm, okay, but you don't so, see what I'm saying. We started this conversation talking about Trump and how that experience course. was. Then Where was Trump? Rumble, Rumble, Where was Trump stream? Through jabs, so I have to jab back. And so okay, it's not a jab. Where is Trump? It's a question. Where does Trump stream? Donald Trump. Trump Jr. streams on Rumble. Where does Donald Trump Sr. stream? I don't know. Does he does he stream? He streams all of his rallies, all of his, his speeches. speeches yes, Rumble. Hey, yeah, hold on. I still think y'all are arguing. I love Trump still. Yo, I still think y'all are arguing on a tiff a tat level. And 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 again, you know, even when I made my move, right? I made that decision based on where I think streaming is going. I think streaming is the most is is the is the most potent type of content that's going to be happening in the next two to three years it's a reason why every rapper wants to link with aiden or kai it's a reason why people are in envy of people like 
Aiden and Kai to say, how do they have thousands of people watching them while they just chill? We have every rapper who's gotten on Twitch. They're RPing. Who started all that shit? Who made that shit Shut popular? Up. They're all trying to be likable. However, they're doing it on uh, they're doing it on Twitch at the moment because all they saw was entertainers and creators like us being on Twitch. But now they're not realizing that yo, know, there's many more on the platforms. And also the audience that you and I and Sneeko have created, they will travel. They will go elsewhere. They gonna, will, which is good. Right, 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 right. That's what I'm saying, bro. And honestly, I would love to add on this person, uh, Train. You guys know Train is because he has a better understanding where Kick was. He was here before me. So, and he's honestly, he's invested in this project as well. But the project is so new, bro. Like I said, give it a, give it a couple of years. You know, Rumble didn't have ads in two months. I know they didn't. It's impossible. There's no way they did. They didn't, there's no way they had ads in two months. The ads they have now, there's no way. You know, you got to give it some time, bro. You got to give it some years. You got to give it some time. And okay, it, just Aiden, I want to ask you this real question. And again, this is, listen, I, I know I'm on Rumble. But I don't look at this as a rumble versus kick thing, bro. You know, it's not. It's not. I look it's at this not. as listen. We are all streamers. Yo, when we all see each other in the fight, we're all chilling, cracking jokes. We all, our communities, all intermingle somewhere or another. What what this is meaning for all of us is that we as streamers finally get the chance to choose, and that's right. the most important thing. So I ask, I, agree. I, 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 I ask you. In the sense of, do you think Kick, and, and again, this is not a got you nothing. Do you think Kick is at the point of sustainability where a mid-sized streamer, right? Not a, not a superstar like yourself could get on and say Reason. they're not gambling and they just want to go stream some shit and they could actually, yeah. they could yeah. actually have an audience that will come to them Rather yeah. than them bringing their I'll own. give an example. I'll give an example right now. Someone named Action Man. Okay. Uh, he's a streamer. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of him before. He made, I think, what do you do, chat? He doesn't gamble. What do you make? 50 something thousand dollars last month? Is streaming. he a mid-sized streamer though? Like, yo, I, I saw yes, he's a mid I, I, I would say I would say he's bigger now that he's gone, he's gone to kick. I really would. Oh, he made 40k in the month. Thank you, guys. Okay. 40k. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, like I said, bro. Um, Jesus fucking Christ! Hold on, I'm gonna go sub on. I'm, I'm gonna try to get Train in here. You got him in here. Like one thing I'll say to Sneeko, because you know I, I think Sneeko is still in gun ho. Like I don't think this is. You know, by the way, here's the beauty of this, right? You see Twitch, right? Like again, Aiden's my friend. Me and Aiden, we talk hip hop. We talk everything. Aiden will call in to give his opinion about whatever. But put it like this. If 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 I'm on Twitch at the moment, I can't talk to Aiden, right? I can't talk to Aiden because, you know, the platform has banned him or whatever the case is. Or I can't talk to Sneeko. I've never talked to Sneeko on stream till, till now. When I go to Miami, That's I, see, crazy. I When I go to Miami, I, talk, I see Sneeko all the time. You know what I mean? And, and Obviously, we're trying to abide by these platforms' rules, but we're, we're getting to realize that us creators kind of have a little bit more control than we probably thought we did. You know? Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm and always thing, Act, I want to just say, bro, thank you for fucking saying that, pointing that out. It's true, bro, because you know you brought the right idea. I think now it's time for creators to get value for what they do. Um, and you see streamers, the big streamers, starting to stream less nowadays, and you see them trying to really kind of like, I guess you could say kind of like, it's like an off, they're waiting for offers to be sent out and they're, they're going back and forth probably. I don't know, but you don't see, there's not a lot of streaming shit going on right now, except for like, like, I just think, I just think we're, it's like a literal free agency type shit. Like people should really be getting paid for what they, what they should be, what they're worth. Yo, to a lot of people who are in my community who might just not know what streaming really is, they look at it like, what are you talking about? But it's like, we're talking about streamers who are more lit than rappers. Streamers who could command an audience that a rapper or a label wish they could actually interact with without paying. If right. you think those people aren't valuable enough or shouldn't think about their future on a business level, granted, some of these people are kids. Some of these, and when yeah. I mean by kids, like, bro, if you're 21 and you have 80,000 people watching you, 
like you're not even going to think about the business ramifications of what that means, but there is. And, you know, I've been in this shit for a while, so I know that, but that's why no matter where um, Aiden would go, Kai, Bruce, your rage, shit, even if, even if Hassan, which I, I don't seem like he would probably go anywhere, it all matters. And shit, you, Sneeko, like, it's the reason why you still exist, because you do know they hit you for the juggler when they got you off, off YouTube. They did that to Tate, too. So yeah. I look at these things and I'm like, yo, yo, if we don't realize that this is a golden time and golden era in every, in, in streaming history, it's not going to continually and perpetually happen all the time. But right now, everyone has to force these companies to respect you as a creator. If you don't do it now, you're fucked. I promise you. So what do you, and, and, and again, that's what, that's that conversation goes to Twitch. I heard I don't know if anyone saw this. I heard something about Twitch wanting to take, uh, what they say? Twitch wanted to take 50% of sponsorships or something like that. I saw something like that on Twitter. I don't know how real that is. Um, that I really don't. Sure. Also, there's a hundred percent favoritism on, uh, on Twitch too. I want to say, um, Hassan showed a video of a guy dying, like actual dying. And, and XQC made a great point, a valid point. XQC said, if I showed that same video, I think I would have gotten banned or at least a warning or something. Hassan made, made my clean. I got warned or whatever, but you know, that's, that's wait, something I do want to add in there. Wait, wait, so Twitch don't have its favorites. Bro, I got banned for 30 days at first for, for showing somebody who died. He, didn't, he wasn't dying. He was just dead. And um, Wait, really? Yeah. And then they, that's they, how you got banned for real? Yes. So they reduced it. That's how you know, chat. They've reduced it. And, and I'm like, all right, I guess. But again, you know, one thing I think Twitch is learning, and I'm not here to be anti Twitch or anti any platform. I, th I think what Twitch is lacking is what Rumble is good at. And I think kick is good at like, I see train wrecks. I see, I, I, I see Eddie, like literally trying to respond to people. I see someone was like, Hey, what about the viewerships? And I see him trying to respond to people. I love that about Eddie. That's what I, that's one thing I will say. And, and again, I, I, uh, I met Chris. I fuck with Chris by the way. I just want to put that out there. Good guy too. Seems like a good guy. Um, as of a conversation we've had, but look, Eddie is on Twitter and these guys are all on Twitter. They're really trying to look at problems. Eddie is, is, uh, one of the owners of, uh, of kick. Um, anyways, he's on this shit and he's, he's scrolling and he's on Twitter and he's just trying to find out and, and, and you know, diagnose problems and really figure out what people are saying. And he's recognizing the problems. It's in beta, bro. Like, Yo. for example, I'm get I get, I got follow about it fucking a week ago. My viewers will go from 90 to 70. Like they fluctuate fucking. He is aware of the problem. Yeah, it's kind of crazy on, on your stream. Yeah. And exactly. By the way, yo, hold on, hold on. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. So it's same thing, yo, you know, before, before we they, got to UFC. I, event, I just, right? Let me, let me, let me just finish this real quick. But the thing is about Eddie is and, and, and kick. They're taking accountability. They're saying, we're looking into this. We're, we're constantly trying to fix this shit. We're coming up with updates regularly. They got a mobile app out so quick, bro. I don't think people really understand how fast that was to get that mobile app out. Like they have a really a fucking great team working on everything. They have a great amount of people who are constantly listening to feedback and 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 you know criticism and all these things. And they're can really Nick on, can Nick stream on kick? Can who? Can Nick? I don't know. If he violates the US, he might get banned. Hey, hey anyone, is, uh, that's what I want to ask Train. I, I want to ask Train if Nick's allowed. Anyone talking about source code? It's public. Look it up. Kick Kick has its own source code. Just, I'm just saying, anyone, anyone saying that they copied Twitch, you can Google. It's it's public information, isn't it? Yeah. And, saying, yeah, and by the way, it's, you know, it, it, in terms of being very reactive to the creator, man, like right before we went to the UFC event, me, Gideon, you know, Chris from Rumble, we, we went to we went to a restaurant and like we're sitting there and I'm watching Gideon like literally criticize the criticize Rumble, saying, "I need this, I need this, I need this." I need, these things. All of it. I need all these things to make me successful. It's and great. You know what he did? Okay, cool. We're gonna get we're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. We're gonna get this done. All right, we're working yeah. on this. Again, because a lot of times, you know, um, you know, streaming is such a privilege, it feels like snobby streamers when you ask or you're trying to get support. But in reality, it's not you're the making ones, it better. If you're if you're bringing if you're bringing the content that they're running ads off, 
They should talk to you. That's the only problem I see with Twitch. They feel zero responsibility to actually just talk to the creators who make the money. So, I don't know, man, but... Um, no, nah, I was just answering some of my chat. Yeah. So look, I, I, uh, I do, I do, I do. Lo I love that, that it's, it's great that, you know, these platforms are opening up because I'm gonna be honest. Twitch is only listening to Pokemon and Hassan, if I'm being honest, bro. And that's fact. In my wrong chat, they're only listening to Pokemon and Hassan, those is types of streamers in that category. Is that true? Hell, bro. Pokemon said, yeah, gambling, 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 Twitch. Pokemon said, gambling got to get banned and got banned the next day. What if, I forgot what Hassan did. Just... They say things and they and they act on it quick as fuck. But when specific streamers doing, you know, things for the platform as well, like XQC is a big, a big shark for Twitch. You know, I think they, they should listen to XQC uh, on certain things, you know. And, and again, like he's right about that point he made. He said if Hassan, he said Hassan shows someone dying, he didn't get banned. He said XQC said if I did that, I would have got banned. And I believe that I got banned for a fucking month for showing someone dying. Hassan didn't even get banned. Or, or, I don't know if he got a warning, but he didn't get banned. Aiden, why did you get banned? We still don't know. On Twitch? Yeah, because honestly, um, I, I felt that put you in an interesting position because. Oh, so, 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 so I'm gonna, I, I'm not really, it, you know, it's, it's constant. It's, 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 I have a lot of speak on why I got banned. I am, but I'm not gonna talk too much on it because it's in, it's in my lawyer's hands now. Because wow. I'll tell you what, because I got indefinitely suspended for an unmoderated chat. When every streamer has a chat on their screen and and they, they everyone there's no way someone can fully moderate their chat. Every streamer has a chat on their top right of their screen. And 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 it, you know, yeah, that's why I got banned. No way. Stop lying. No well, way. well well that, that was just an excuse. See, like when they when they don't like your political agenda, no, 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 Twitch no, no, will just no, find no, a reason wait, to ban you for absolutely nothing. It happened to me too. They just didn't like the fact that Aiden was associating himself with Tate, and so they found no, a reason no. to delete him. I'll tell you why he got banned. He got banned because they they saw their biggest streamer go live and say go to another website, which is a competitor. That's why they wanted to ban you. If they if they gave you any other reasons, mm. bullshit. What it's, I will say is this though too. Can I just say one thing? Go ahead. And, and all you guys saying facts are true, cool. Think about it like this. If I was another streamer, just let's just say I'm fucking um let's just say I'm fucking uh Hassan. I don't want to use Hassan and shit. Let me just say I'm another Twitch streamer. If I'm another Twitch streamer and my chat is being unmoderated, in the bottom left I have my chat right now. Okay. If my chat is being unmoderated, if I'm a regular Twitch streamer, okay, do you think if if someone is typing in slurs or or, or Nazi symbols, for example. Okay. Do you think that I would be indefinitely? Do you think that, that a regular stream would be indefinitely suspended for that? No, absolutely not. It, act, it's it's very not. clear that Twitch has a, a specific political agenda, the same way that they're not covering Rumble for signing you and signing Jadeon because they want to go box Rumble in because it's an actually a free speech website. They want to box it in as conservative right wing because Trump's on here and Tate's on here. There, there's a very clear political agenda with all these sites. The reason they don't see Kick as a problem is because Kick doesn't really have a political agenda. Kick is is, is a gambling platform and it doesn't really okay, have an and essence again, of it. And again, I, know under, I understand why you keep saying gambling platform. It is funded by stake. I get that. I completely do. Public information. But you're going to see a completely different separation within this year. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised who's signing, Sneeko. Like a lot of a lot of people are signing to this platform that aren't gonna be that are not gonna be gambling per contract. I'm sure, I'm sure they're signing, but we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm just saying we'll, we'll see how long it lasts. And then and then I'm, I'm, I'm comparing I mean, I mean, I mean, but you're but but Sneeko, it seems like you're hating. It's like ignorant. I'm not hating. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's not anger. You're trying to be factual, I get it. I understand logical. Rumble's been a thing for two years. This shit's been a few months. I'm comparing your. I'm comparing what you're saying about the left of streamers and how the they Pokemon and them get favorited on Twitch for the same They're reason all, that the box uh, are these, But these people are all for saying what you want to say, but they don't like hate speech. And I and I honestly, bro, that's why I'm, uh, I want to start fueling hate with love. You know what I'm saying? And that's why everyone should be doing it. Okay, so we're all we're on the same page there. Then you know we are. My point was that there's a specific political agenda that Twitch wants. Twitch wants you to be watching hot tub streamers. Twitch wants you to not do push-ups. They don't want any self-improvement. As soon as you started doing push-ups, as soon as you started motivating your audience, that's and when they, they and 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 remember remember when I said guys stop watching porn and then Hassan called me a full right. Remember he called me. Remember he said that he, he said you said you're going all right, right for right. for doing push-ups. It, it's not about the moderated chat. They didn't like your political ideology. It doesn't I agree fit with in. You. I agree there's a reason why the word simp is banned on Twitch. Hmm. 
Yeah, that is crazy. Simp is banned off Twitch and sit. And you know, it's crazy. Um, Twitch still has gambling on their platform, by the way. I don't know if anyone ever talks about it. They have a, um, Amazon and uh, Twitch. They have a multi-billion dollar deal academics with the NFL. I don't know if you knew this about uh, sports betting. And uh, the reason why gambling got banned in the first place from Twitch was because of a sports better who lost his money. It had nothing to do with stake. Also, I'm pretty sure you could still do FanDuel and DraftKings on Twitch, and they have the same slots such as Sweet Bananas and shit. Um, I'm just just clarifying that for everyone. So it's the same fucking pragmatic play. They, they, they definitely said that if you're uh, doing fantasy picks, like for example, like Price Picks is completely legal. Hey, hey what, yo, yo, I always wanted to ask you this, Aiden, because again, I've always said, you know, bro, you're a huge creator, like. I, it, you're bigger than me. You're bigger than Sneeko. Are you glazing, man? Did, no, no, no. That's the truth. Did you not have these conversations? Because I talk to people at Twitch, and they've talked to me at times and been like, "Hey, listen, how about you change this up? Because you know you're kind of going against the TOS. We're, we're, we're gonna give you a warning, but just change it up a little bit." And it's never about my opinion. They'll be like, "Hey, you know your sub goal is not whatever, whatever." It, it just seems like. There's no way you should be this disconnected with the the people who you're probably making millions of dollars for, or you were. I, I don't get that. I never got on Twitch's front page. They never followed me on social media. They never reached out to me. Um, they offered me. It's crazy. This is one thing that I have a, I have a really successful manager. I have a really great manager who got me this deal. But I did have a, some type of crazy ad deal with Twitch that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say out loud. I don't care. Um, I had a, I had a crazy ad deal with Twitch. It was a non-exclusive ad deal and I would pump ads and make more, honestly, more money than I should be I've been making. At one What's point. the number though? You just hinted that you're going to say the number. I mean, I'm not going to get into specifics, but I'm telling you, like I had a crazy fucking ad deal. Like they gave me, it was more than, it was more than fucking, I think only like another one, one or two other creators had it literally. Like I know for a fact it's fucked up. Kai doesn't even have it. He deserves it. Like I know for a fact Kai does not have it and he hundred percent deserves that deal. Really? Um, yes. And now that you're not on Twitch, why are you shifting away from political streams? Why do you want to go back to like similar stuff that you're doing on? Like, why do you not want to talk about politics anymore? Because I think this world needs love, bro. And I honestly, like, I was going through. I know, I knew, I knew you cracked the joke, bro. But lean is fucking addicting. I, I was downplaying it. I was actually addicted to that shit for longer than five fucking days, chat and everyone. Um, and honestly, bro, like, I was just in a super toxic mindset and. I was getting pissed off easily and the demons were getting brought out of me, bro. Look at it like this, bro. You talk about it yourself. You said a lot of, you, you talk about it with Chris. You said, Chris, a lot of kids look up to you. A lot of, you have a lot of influence on the internet. So do you, Sneeko. Kids look up to, kids look up to you, right? And people look up to you. Not even just kids. People in general look up to you. They're like, oh my God, Sneeko's saying some real shit. I saw at UFC, Sneeko, some, some, uh, like some UFC security guard walked up to you. He was like, Sneeko, keep doing what you're doing, bro. I look up to you. Like, you know, I remember that guy. And I just think adding in love and, and instead of hate, bro. And, and again, I, 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 the past month, bro, I feel like that just wasn't me. Like, it's just like, I, I, I have I have my beliefs on things, bro, but it's like- You can get political of? without yelling at fat women and calling them whales. The, the, you can still be political but, and but, promote but, but again, love speech. That's, 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 that, that was out of context, and you know it was. You know that was out of context. That girl was under a lot of my tweets, 10 of my tweets at least, attacking my community and My shit. point is that they don't have to be mutually exclusive. Just, you can could, you could still talk about that stuff and, and not saying, have to be- I'm saying in general, if that person commented on my tweet and I saw that, I would just scroll through it right now. Because yeah, I'm in a better headset yeah, than I was. Aiden, I'm, Aiden, 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 I'm gonna be honest, like separate and aside from everything what was Nico saying, like even when I watched that, that, that guy named, was a Patrick CC video, bro, there was like an overtone of them kind of almost saying like, you, you've just gotten so successful and so rich that- that that you just feel like you're above everything and you're just snobby now. Like and and I, when I talk to you personally, Damn. I don't feel that. But I, I do so have either. to say that, right? Like because I'm not. But, but I, I listen, know the internet, not. the but, internet, on, the I know, internet. I know you're not. When it comes to you on a personal level with someone you care for, but that's been the overtone. And I don't know if Sneaker was getting to it. I feel like people have been saying, "Yo, you got the bag." Right, you're at you're at um kick now, and now you could you're you're just acting now because you know there's really no there's really no one telling you you can't do something. And nah, but again, again, and, and again, bro, I think going, you guys are gonna see a lot of change from me. Everyone is, bro. I'm 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 really on this new path right now. I'm telling, you, I'm back on my journey. I'm getting back to the shit. 
and I'm touched with reality again. My bad, I just saw. Is that your girl? Yeah. Yo, why you, don't me watch, man. Um, <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> yeah. Start. Sorry, Sneaker, you're used to watching. <laughs> I'm kidding, Sneaker. I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Listen. Uh, um, well, I love the... speech, except oh, when it comes to sneak. I love speech, right? Joke, I'm all man. about love, bro. Let me go oh, punch dildos and shit. <laughs> Listen, okay, yeah. Love listen. punching dildos and acting listen. retarded. Listen. Yo, and no, 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 no. Aiden, Aiden, Aiden. Aiden. Yo, Aiden, Aiden. 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 You think Aiden was actually addicted to lean? Yeah, bro. I was going through a pint a day with my boys. Literally. A pint a day with my boys. still streaming? Yes, I was sipping on stream. Yes. No, no. You were sipping I, on stream? Yes. No, no. I believe him, but that's what that's why I want to have this conversation with him about gluttony. Where But let me I, go back to what you were saying, bro. Let me prove to people, actually speak louder than words. We all can agree on that. Let me prove to people that I'm about to be on this new path, this new journey, picking up where I left up on and spreading love and not hate. And because I'm gonna tell you right now, that's what kick needs right now. They they need they they need one of their faces for kick to lead by example and do great and big things and bless people and fucking spread love. Because bro, I'm telling you, that's what it's all about in this world, bro. The energy you give out is what you receive. I was giving out negative energy this past month. I'm sick of this shit. I don't want that shit. It was kicking up on me. There'd be days where I didn't want to get out of the fucking bed. I'd be fucking depressed as fuck, feel low as fuck, and I would just sip a cup all day and, and, and feel Wait, the fucking- Yo, yo, hey, 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 hold, hey, hold, hey, hold on, bro. Hey, so hey. I understand, I understand my persona on the internet right now is snobby. I get it. A snobby fucking kid who's successful and rich and doesn't give a fuck about anyone else. I get it. I get it, but that's not who I am personally. And if you know me on a personal level, you know that's not who I am. I love everyone. I care about everyone around me, and I care about people who fuck with me. And I really do. Now, it all started with insecurity and ego, why I even started on this path. And it's stupid as fuck that I had a void in my heart, and I filled that shit with a cup. And that's why I'm letting everyone know it's, 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 it's deeper than it sounds, bro. It is. This shit is no fucking joke. It really makes you a different person. And it puts you at a really low level, and people could tell that wasn't me. DJ Scheme, a close friend, uh, you know, to me literally told me, he's like, yo, bro, I'm not gonna lie, this is not you, bro. Whatever happened to fucking working on yourself? Bro, Snickle, I get it, bro. I get where you're coming from with, 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 with shit you say. Act you too, I get it, I get it. But all I'm saying is let Act speak out of the words. Watch what I'm about to do this month, and, and that's all I gotta say. I don't wanna speak much more on it. I, don't. I, I do wanna ask you this question, right? And I'm, I might be off base, but I wanna ask you this question because I do think a lot of people are probably thinking about this. Again, you are the most successful streamer ever, okay? That's just the fact of the matter. Do you think there's a side effect of having more money than you could ever spend in a lifetime and maybe the side effects to possibly not having any restrictions that may lead you to do things, say things, or anything else that might not be... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, I'm a button real quick. The most successful streamer of all time. Am I? Am I? I'm talking about that, monetarily. Are you that off of money? How are you saying that? I'm talking about monetarily. You said you signed well, the biggest. That's train. Deal. Well, yes, but train, train Rex has more money than me. But yes. Okay, but to be, I get what you're saying though. Back, of course, bro. When I was fucking 19, I made my first million dollars. I don't know what the fuck I was doing with my money. I bought a fucking Lambo. I bought dumb shit, you know. And I was just being stupid as fuck. And I'm just, a, I was, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying, bro? People people think I come from money and shit. Bro, listen, bro. I do I don't come from fucking money, bro. There was a point in my life where my family went broke. People don't understand that. People are like, oh no, bro, you were bringing some money. Like I was middle class and then I became poor. And, you know, and, and I had to, and I had to put you aside. I tell a story. My dad lost his job and he had a three credit cards. And he had to get my my upgrade my internet speed. And I worked to get my first streaming PC and equipment. And I did. You know, and, and, and what I'm trying to say is I came, I, I came from that, I got my M. And my first M, I blew it on a fucking Lamborghini. And then I bought on dumb shit. And, and, and I spent it. And I gambled it and all these things. And then after that, that I was like, all right, I got to humble the fuck out a little bit. And then I and then I bought my parents their first crib. You know what I mean? And then I, and then, and then, and then I progressively got richer, more successful. Took care of this person, that person, this person, that person, this person, that person. Because at the end of the day, bro, it's all about becoming a better person and realizing fuck ups. For example, I will never, ever, 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 ever buy my friend's jewelry ever again. Iced out shit, it's stupid. I'll buy them plain shit. Really? I'll, 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 yes, I'll give them cash. I'll buy them cars. I'll buy them things that retain value and, 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 get, and get them somewhere. If I buy my friend an iced out fucking watch, if I buy my friend an iced out fucking watch, it's, I'm, a, I'm a moron, I'm a schmuck because it's a bad mindset. These rappers, I get it, bro. They want to be with, with the diamonds and shit. I get it. Cool, it looks, it looks great. It looks pleasing to the eye. But a plain fucking watch app, even you know that, Sneaker, you know that, is more valuable than a fucking iced out fucking Rolly in an AP. It is. 
It is. And they go up in value. And, and you know, I want to start doing things like that and setting and setting, setting shit like that. That's cool. Buying a plain Jane fucking, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. You get what I'm saying? And, and I'm learning, bro. And I, and I, and I'm learning and I really am trying to stay on this path that I'm currently on right now. My mindset is clear as hell. And I'm more motivated than I've ever been because I'm getting rid of that, that lean shit. And I, and I'm really just trying to be the best version of myself, bro. And I, and I'm, and I'm going to go back to that journey. And again, to answer your question, getting millions and millions and millions of dollars. It's overwhelming. It is, bro. People don't understand. Like, especially when you don't know how to fucking manage your money and you don't know what the fuck you're doing. It is at first. It is. And it creates more problems. Act, you know that. You even said that to me. More money, more problems. You said that to me, bro. You did. And people look up to you. They look at you as a fucking ATM. The world, the world becomes the world, the world becomes a little more sour. All right. That's why a lot of old rich motherfuckers are all fucking miserable. Because they 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 look, they perceive the world as sour. Okay. And and again, bro, money doesn't make you happy. But, but to an extent, to an extent, but I think money, 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 money develops freedom and it, and it you know, it helps, it helps create opportunity and it, it could definitely save lives and, and all these things, but it can't buy, it can't literally buy fucking happiness, like to an extent. And what I meant by that is like, I can't go buy a Lamborghini. I'm going to be happy in it. Like, you know what I mean? Like it just doesn't, you know? Hey, I got one more question and I know Stingo got a whole bunch for you. Aiden, and you, you you know I love you. Like you know, we we, we talk so much. We, we've been in so many private situations. Obviously, we, we're talking publicly here. But I do want to ask you, who could check you? Who could check you in a sense of saying you're fucking up, you're going wrong, you're going down the wrong path? Yo, how you handle last situations fucked up? Who's that person? You tell me. I got I got one person in my life right now that will call me on my bullshit no matter what, and that's my my security guard aunt, who's not even my security anymore, aunt. Being honest, that's one person who literally called me out my bullshit, bro. Literally, um, I got I have, I have a manager now who I'm very close with. His name is David. Very, he calls me out my bullshit. Um, I have two close friends to me uh, that are my high school boys. Um, the Tates, honestly, bro, the Tates, they're there for me. I texted them about my lean addiction. They fucking instantly, instantly hit my phone, instantly talking about it, explaining that you know about life and help me feel better. You know, there's people around me, bro. There's good people. There's genuine people who genuinely care and love me. I know there is. And I can tell between the fake and, 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 and not fake love. But at the end of the day, bro, it's it's um, it's all love, man. Every every everything is all love. OK, that kind of sounded like therapy ish. And so I'm wondering, like, how much does no, 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 it doesn't have to be a bad thing. But genuine question. I, I, and it's like uh, thinks that I'm, I'm arguing. I'm not. How much does do you actually need to invest into talking about self improvement and talking about being better and the gym and stuff like that? Like that stuff that that's that should be routine at this point when it comes to to being a man. That stuff that's like that should just be routine. The way I see it, I want to know what you guys think when it comes to like having an influence and having an audience. We we're kind of seeing Western civilization collapse in real time. We're seeing people completely confused. The culture war is getting worse than it's ever become like the, the amount of infighting the, where kids are extremely confused the gender stuff that's going on i see it as western civilization collapsing in real time i think the, the most valuable thing that you could do with an influence and a voice is to is to call out the clear problem that we all see when it comes to wokeism i know act doesn't completely invest into that because you don't like to all the way go into the manosphere uh, aiden you went in and now you're, you're trying to go out but wokeism is destroying the west from the real time I'm not trying to go. By the way, uh, Stiko, I think honestly, bro, what you're doing in your in your in your own way, I, you know, I you know, we've had talks. I agree with a lot of what you say. I do. You know, I, I really do. We have the same beliefs on a lot of stuff. There's some stuff we disagree on. You know, I don't I don't 100 agree with all the things you do. I don't 100 agree with all the things I do. But that's just coming together and perspectives and 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 really coming together and and really understanding. But look, to answer your question, yeah, man, I think the world got so political. And at first, you know what's funny? I remember teachers couldn't even talk about who they voted for. But I'll tell you where it got so political. Schools, social media, such as Twitter, and, and Twitch even, they're the ones that like were preaching, don't bring about politics. But these are the motherfuckers telling you not to vote for Trump. And it's just funny to me that, you know, that side of the full far left, you know, 
they're the ones that are kind of like hypocritical. I mean, everyone is hypocritical, but you got what I'm trying to say. It just didn't really make sense that you weren't allowed to talk about politics and shit. You just never were. But then it took, you know, the far left is one who brought politics to school, brought politics to social media, all these things. They're, they're, they're forcing it upon schools right now that they removed the it's church. Wrong. They moved the cross and they replaced it with the gay pride flag in the West. Well, can, so I, I, just, can I say one thing? Can I say one thing? Um, I, listen, I don't know how you guys feel about trans. I respect and I love and I love everyone and I have no problem with trans people. But and one thing I will up, say. You definitely fucked up. I, I seen a clip. I know you're talking about where I said kill them. And again, that's taken out of context. The way I said it, it was severely fucked up. And I, and I apologize. Take full accountability. Okay, that was stupid you. as fuck. Yeah, because I did say that incorrectly. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Um, but what I will say is this, bro. Uh, Sneeko, the youth, I feel like I feel like they feel like um, we people shouldn't be. If you're a kid, man, you know what I'm saying? You're a kid. Let the kid be a kid. You know what I'm saying? Like. Let the kid be a kid, straight up, bro. Well, like, that's what—that's exactly I, I, I what they're not doing. I, I didn't fuck with, uh, you know, I just didn't fuck with certain things, like how in elementary school, like certain kids are being taught certain things, and, and the teachers are teaching it. I, there's just certain there's stuff that I don't like, and I don't touch base on, you know. And, and I'm really trying to get away from this shit because it's just creating more hate and all these. But hold on, hold on, I get, Aiden, I do gotta ask because because again, you know, and I feel like I'm regurgitating talking points. And by the way, you could definitely tell me I'm full of shit because you know. You know, I know your heart and I know your your persona, but also like because we're on here, like I'm I'm just naturally in in the sense of giving pushback and shit. Um, like, do you be, like there was a point that you weren't talking about how many genders? Is that, that's more like Sneeko's Alley type shit. You know what I mean? And, and these days, like, nah, I said that I said that because from that point on is when I got into the zone where I was mad at people on Twitter. For trying to cancel me. So I was trying to cancel cancel culture. Mm. That was my perspective on that. And I don't know if that really makes sense, but yeah, that's where I was at with that. Yeah, and, and, and that's that's why I thought about it. I was like, yo, um, I think you, obviously you have a lot of influence in, and I, I think kind of like marrying your cause and like your movement around that particular point. For a second, I thought I was like, is he trying to do or be Tate? Because you know, no. I was trying to I was trying to say something that I know what hurt, that I knew would hurt a lot of people. That um, I didn't do it. So the intent I was trying to do academics is was I was trying to come at people who were trying to cancel me and bring me down on Twitter. People don't know this because again, you don't you're not seeing my perspective on things. I, it's and you know in this world it's all about perspective you got people go through so many different obstacles so many different things so many different trauma so much different experiences so you're never going to really understand that's why i'm so open to hearing people's perspectives on things for example i'm gonna just say this right now this is not right in any way but when kanye said he hated jews because yeah. all jews fucked him over um his managers contracts all that stuff i see what yeah was saying i don't agree with him at all by the way but I could see why he's saying that, even though he's 100% wrong. Does that make sense? He, is, he has perspective. He's not right at all. He's not, because not all Jews are bad people. Not all black people are bad people. Not all white people are bad people. You're saying your understanding, and you're, you're kind of seeing where his anger might not have Not understanding, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing the angle he's trying to say. You know what I'm saying? I am. Well, hold on. That, that manifests into just anger, right? You know what I mean? Like, for example, like, you know, in, in the hip hop world, like, for example, I was going to have this guy on a comedy show. His name Charleston White. He was mad. There's one guy who's who's Asian. And instead of just saying, fuck that guy, it, he felt it was more just natural to say, man, fuck all of the people who look like that guy or who, yeah. wherever he came from. And I mean, with Kanye, I still feel the same. I'm like, yo, Kanye, you're mad at like four people. Like you're not really mad. That's at what I'm saying. You're not mad at the Jews. You're, you're not mad, mad at, at the millions people. of people. But I, I see his angle. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't fuck with it. But I see his angle. You can't say I hate all Jews because four Jews in your life fucked you over. You understand? Um, I had a talk with uh, Almighty that's Jay. Not, that's that's not what he was saying. What was he saying? That's not. What was he saying then? He was talking about Zionism and and uh, the agenda that they have in the music industry and the way they do business and the way that. He's feel he's felt controlled. It, it's more than four people. It's it's just it's pattern recognition. 
It's not no, like no, four no, people no. tried wait, to screw wait, him wait, over. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, academics are saying there's no, no, no. a pattern. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before, before Sneeko starts to extrapolate this, let's be clear who he's talking about. He's talking about a few Nike executives. No, not Nike. Adidas executives. Adidas. Yeah. He's also talking about the guys who wouldn't let him buy back his masters in the record label side. He's talking about a finite group of people, less than 10. Maybe four was exaggerating, but less than 10. He was just talking about people who he felt was contr controlling these avenues that he cared about. He identified them. You say pattern recognition. He lumped them up and said, again, granted, maybe they were all Jewish. I'm not saying they weren't. However, when you attack the not only the Jewish faith, but people who ident identify uh, with Judaism, like, bro, you're wrong. Again, if it's only less than 10 people, you can name those 10 people. You post a lot on your okay. Instagram, post all their pictures. Granted, I'm not saying that's the best way to deal with problems, but you attacked an entire group of people. Like, right, like, by the way, you know, and, and not to start ranting or whatever, but it, it, it's like, when it came to 9-11, right, and it was, yeah, it might have been people that were or people that identify with the Islam faith, right, um, and they might have been Muslim, but it wasn't all Muslim. It was like literally 15 fuckboys who were radicals, and because of what they did, you had a lot of people extrapolating hate on all people who practiced the faith. That's not cool. That's not sure. right. And just like how we didn't agree with that, we can't just say because Ye made some great sneakers and made some great music, we're going to agree with that. Come on, Sneaker. You all, you know that to be fact. It was not about the Zionism. Like, that, that's a great way how people like Nick Fuentes and others have acted, or not acted, but has changed the narrative to say, oh, what Kanye West was saying actually had sense. By the way, Kanye West is completely bipolar. At least we have Aiden who's that's, coming that's in here. That's not true at all. That's he the, is Self-admitted. 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 By the way, at least we have Aiden who comes. Hold on. At least okay. we have Aiden. You, talk, you guys are talking as if it's just like four people. He talks about the doctor that hospitalized him and put him down this path of like saying that he's mentally ill. He was saying it was a Jewish doctor. Yo, yo. It when doesn't matter. When he talks about the people who are taking his children and saying that he needs to be handled, that was a Jew. And then he even brought up the picture of the red media, everybody in the media trying to slander him and pushing this narrative that he's okay. mentally ill. Yo, 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 yo Stigo, Stigo. We've Stigo, you're had this conversation bro. before. Like, you're one of the people, and this is why Bro. I always get at you because I know intellectually you're smarter than this, but you love to go along with these conspiracy theories. We literally had Kanye West who claimed that I was being controlled by Jewish media or Jewish like operative. Like that's not who true. you signed to, huh? Who weren't you signed to Complex? Who? All right, so who owns Complex? You tell me. I don't know. I'm asking you. So Complex is owned by Verizon or Hearst. Who is who is a Jewish person there? Oh, okay, you're thinking about it. You, 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 I don't know. I'm asking you. I didn't know who you were signed oh, no, to. You no, signed no, no. to a lot wait, of wait, different wait, agencies. Wait, wait, I did a deal with them for a show. They don't control my content. I just said fuck complex the other day. Then they put me on a list, and I said, okay, they're cool. They don't control my content. Here's the point. I'm gonna touch it, Sneeko. It's still what, what he said about the pattern. You, you even said it, Sneeko. The, the word, the patternizing, whatever, bro. Like, li listen. I get it. The Jewish doctor, the Jewish people trying to fuck with his kids, the Jewish, the, the Jewish Adidas. I get it, bro. But not all Jews deserve to be on this hate, fucking anti-Semitic, fucking campaign, bro. Like there were people, there were people, there were people on the four hundred five saying Kanye is right. Fuck the Jews. I saw it. Oh, right. Okay, all right, but th that's that's blown up by the media. It's like five guys. Do you understand? That but that's what I'm trying to make you understand. It's Ye's fault. Yo, yo, Stigo, Stigo. Let's think about it this way. Granted, like, you know, obviously the majority of African Americans may not seem to be in positions of power like that. But, you know, being a person of color like yourself, if anyone, I don't know, let's say, uh, I won't say Mel Gibson, we, he's been through his shit. L let's say any white guy, right? A, a very popular white guy, the guy who played Captain America comes out and say he got stopped a couple times by some black cops. He got like, Padded extra hard by like some TSA people who are black, and he says, "Yo, these motherfucking niggas, they're the ones who's keeping me back." Would you not, or, or you know, obviously, I don't know what you identify as. I would, I would be offended by by that statement. Imagine if he just attacked people of color. Would you feel like, yo, bro, you might have had a bad 
experience with a bunch of people, but like you attack an entire race or entire, you know, um, ethnicity or, or whatever, like, you know what I mean? Phenotype of people, that's fucking wrong. You, you wouldn't believe that? Of course, I think it's wrong. But you got to look past that. It wasn't, of course, that's where the feeling started and Aiden's right talking about the perspective. But a lot of VA24 is talking about APAC, the biggest lobby is, and you talk about the ADL, the people that control the media, the people that censor you the most. They talk about certain things that you're not allowed to say. Like you, they always bring up Hitler as the person that's the most demonized person of all time. That's the most the example of the most evil person, even though there's dictators in history that have killed way more people that have been part of bigger um, genocides. They're, they're never seen as, as demonized. People celebrate people like like Mao is celebrated in China and people wear these shirts of... of Stinko, let me ask you this direct question. People, oh, Stinko, 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 It's because there's a specific no, narrative that's been Stinko, trying to push Stinko, for, for all of history. This is one of my issues with you because you are one of the people who likes just to repeat talking points, but you never... And I know you are an actual thinker. Do you think that Hitler should be actually celebrated? Yes or no, and I'm asking you. Yes, no. I never said he no, should no, be no. celebrated, oh, no, no, but no, wait, my wait, point wait, is, I'm not just wait, repeating talking points. You argued a point, it, 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 you argued a point I, that no, other people say, I never worse said that. than You're him were celebrated. Words no, you did. You argued a point that uh, worse people than him are celebrated. Let me ask you this question. Do you think he should be celebrated? What do you, you think? Don't tell me talking about I don't think he should be celebrated. I don't think. I think he actually so was anti-Semitic. Hold on. I think What are you arguing? So if, if you're saying that you I'm, don't think he should I'm, be let, celebrated. Let, you want me to tell you? Yes, you want me to tell you? I do. He is, is always seen by the left, is always seen like literally worse than Hitler. If a leftist was ever able to get a time but machine, they say, I'm going to go, you're I'm gonna you go don't back celebrate and kill Hitler. Hold on. You, you're not left, but you say you don't celebrate him. What are we talking about? I'm saying that he is, is always seen as the, the most evil person, the most demonized person, but there's a lot of dictators and a lot of people. Stalin killed more people than Hitler, but they always picture Hitler as the worst person of all time. And why? Why is that? Why is the narrative painted towards he is the worst person of all time? It's because a yeah, certain yeah, amount of people yeah, control Stinko, the narrative Stinko, control Stinko, history. Stinko, your point is now becoming, okay, I'm not saying that Hitler isn't evil, but there's more evil people. Okay, great. Congratulations. We'll give you a cookie for that. You're saying that the guy who you're basically unwilling to defend is a piece of shit, but there's other pieces of shits. No one ever said they weren't pieces of shits. Yo, I'm going to be honest, bro. There's no room to ever defend Hitler, bro. Ever. Ever. I'm just saying it anyway. Just say anything about trying to fucking take. Bro, he killed so many innocent Jewish people, bro. Just could we just. Hitler was bad. He was evil. Like, yo, yo, I love watching Sneeko get on these like debates. Sneeko always loses because he's such a he's, he's a great thinker, but he never puts his points together in a logical form that people can't easily debunk. You literally no, there's, there's, there's simple things. There's certain topics that you can't really yeah, talk yeah, about on platforms without getting in trouble. Sneeko, 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 Sneeko. No, no, You're on Rumble, no, right? No, no. You're on Rumble. So say uh, and, and by the way, yo, wait, wait, by the way, everybody on my YouTube. Everybody on my YouTube, I'm about to cut my YouTube stream. Please don't come to Rumble because I'm about to get real with Sneeko. Sneeko, I'm going to tell you the point you just made. Oh, shit. This is the retarded point you just made, right? Okay. Uh, let me make sure I cut Tell me that. This is like the equivalent, right, of me saying, yo, of course the KKK is bad, but why don't we talk about this other group that's bad? Like, that again, true, that's not yeah. a defense for the KKK, my nigga. Again, nobody's my ever... Point is my point is, why has the left pictured this one person as the worst person of all time? Why is that? It's, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to compare yes. evil, but why is it that Hitler is seen as the most evil person of all time? Because he had, he was a, the leading Nazi and he fucking killed yes. over 